right there in this large titling. Be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well. Make sure your sound's turned up. Warning, this map contains flashing lights and excitement. So let's dive in and enjoy the magic of Minecraft Dungeons and Dragons. Which should be a lot of fun because it's supposed to be based on the property. If you're not familiar with Dungeons and Dragons, it's a pretty cool, well, tabletop and or... Well, it's, it's much more than just tabletop at this point, let's be real here. So let's uh, dive in and experience what this has to offer. Use headphones for the best experience. Oh, this is this is really cool. So this is made by Everbloom. I've actually covered quite a few of their maps. They're one of the best uh, creators out there. So uh, I'm very excited to be taking a look at this. Finally, I had some time to do this. And wow, it's literally set up as if it is a Dungeons & Dragons kind of scenario. That is incredibly impressive, actually. That is... Yeah, I love how they're getting so detailed with this stuff. Like, it really is genuinely getting so impressive. Uh, let's start by taking a look at the skins you get with the pack. So we're just gonna hopefully have everything load here properly so that we could do this, because it's always so buggy, yeah, to get anything to load in Minecraft. Uh, but yeah, here we go. We have the skins. So we've got the, oh, that's not it, that's not it. How did we get there? Okay, we've got the Barbarian. Uh, this is the Bard, the Cleric, the Druid, the Fighter. Then we have the Monk, the Paladin, the Ranger, the Rogue, the Sorcerer, and the... Ranger, Rogue, Sorcerer, okay, Warlock, and then the Wizard. I think you'd have longer hair being a wizard. But uh, there you go, that's the skins. Let's dive in and start our adventure. Hey, glad you made it. I'm really happy that you're willing to give this game a shot. It's one of my favorite things to do with friends. Between the role playing, strategy, and just being goofy with each other, it's always a great time. D&D &D has something for every kind of player. Now, you said the other day that you wanted to just get kind of an intro experience before joining my regular campaign group. So I figured a more individual sort of experience would be a good way of showing you the ropes, give you an idea of what the experience can feel like. Just take a seat whenever you feel like getting started. I've got snacks that should last us until the end of the universe, so help yourself to those too. Do I get to pick a seat? Good to go. Okay, so first things first, let's do huh. your class. I've got the basics already written up for a few of them, so you only need to worry about picking one. Do you want to be a holy warrior with the ability to heal yourself and smite your foes with the power of your deity? Paladin might be the way to go. Mm. Or maybe a wizard, using your magic to blast bad guys sky high with fireballs while deflecting incoming attacks? Hmm, but a rogue could be fun too. Hit and run tactics, poisoning your enemies and watching them succumb to the venom. So satisfying. But it's also lots of fun to just be a barbarian with a big axe. Barbarians can get so angry that they just kind of forget that they've been hit and keep hacking away. I've always had a hard time choosing when I'm a player, so take your time. I'm going to pick hold the menu item. Okay. Should I be... I'm kind of... I think I'm more of a paladin character. A short sword for the rogue. Yeah, I'm, I'm a paladin, I'd say. Paladin selected. Okay, next let's allocate your stats. You want me to explain how stats and dice rolling work in this game? Nah, I'm good. You'll also see that your class already has stats that will best support their abilities. How you add your extra stat points is up to you. Do you hmm. want to make them better at what they already do, or do you want to balance them out a bit? You'll get more stat points to distribute as we play, so don't worry about this step too much. Okay. So I actually have to pick stats too? Oh, this is this is a lot of work. Okay, so how many points do I have? Like, how many extra points do I have? Wisdom, charisma. I'm always, I'm always down for charisma. 
constitution. We how many does it tell me how many skill points I have available or like dexterity run faster. Oh, okay, I still have I have one more skill point. Cooldown for spells, critical hits, and the damage dealt by them. I shouldn't have put so much on charisma. Damage dealt to enemies. Let's increase that too. That is really, really cool. You've made your first character. Congrats. Nice. Now, how about we dive right into things? Let me just set the scene for you. The continent of Faerun has seen hundreds of stories turn into legends. The Dawn Age, when dwarves overthrew the tyrannical giants and elves waged war against evil dragons, thereby carving out a place in the world for small folk. The tyranny of the Rose Dragon, when the Great Red Worm, Yelvir Asalisar, nearly raised Kalamshan and established her cruel empire. The time of troubles, when celestials and fiends alike were cast from their own realms, warring and laying waste to the mortal plane in their efforts to reclaim their divine positions. Yet each great story has great people steering the narrative. The Rose Dragon's wow. empire only fell because Rafak Al-Kajan and his companions slew the evil beast. The times of troubles ended because those like the mage Midnight rose to the occasion, in their case taking the mantle of divinity from the slain celestial Mistra until she could be resurrected. Now this is so impressive. Another <laughs> such event, a budding calamity that could warp reality as we know it. Though there is no prophesied chosen one, no foreseen savior, if you play your cards right, you might just be able to avert what is to come. Or perhaps your story will simply serve as a cautionary tale for those who survive. Despite this, it all starts with something as mundane as fetching groceries for your parents. I will say though that like... They really need to either give you the option to turn off the widescreen effect or fix the widescreen effect so it does actually show as widescreen during the cinematics instead of having those awkward bars. Like, I get what they're trying to do. It's trying to be like a cinematic kind of thing, but yeah, that is funny. Minecraft Dungeons and Dragons. I'm very excited about this. I've known about this for like a long, long time. I think it got like delayed at one point, but yeah, I've, I've known about this for like almost like a year now. <laughs> the late spring rain Very excited for this. Finally to play it. Across town to deliver a commission for your father, at least a bit less muddy. As you make your way back along the main street, though, it is hard not to notice that your otherwise quiet home is riddled with strained, whispered conversations. The look, Master Chief's got <laughs> he's got armor on. <laughs> oh, that's funny. This is really rather lovely. Standing behind his produce stand is Eric. It's not just like Dungeons and Dragons. Living on the village's outskirts. You have known him for most of your life, though he is still young and smile lines have only just begun to crease the sides of his eyes. It's so authentic. Your father said you'd be along to pick up his purchase. I don't envy him his back problems, as if he didn't have enough to deal with already as a headman. Anyhow, here you go. I'm sure he appreciates having you around to do all the heavy lifting for him. <laughs> He's just lazy. He's not that bad off. Hey, watch it. Your father has a lot of responsibilities. It's not like you've got much better to do anyhow. Anything is better than just running errands. Oh yeah? Try oh, I'm Catra? Master nice Chief? Stories, but your father and I can promise you that running boring errands like this is a lot better. Yeah, sure. I'll just be going home now to daydream about delivering letters instead of having an actual life. Bye. You'll learn, child. You'll learn. So when am I going to get a cameo in, like, one of these Minecraft adventure maps? One of these days, guys, I tell ya. One of these days. Oh, that is a cool sword effect. Yeah, it looks like they've got, like, a special texture pack going on, too, in this world. This is really quaint. Huh. You hear voices from inside your house. 
Perhaps it is worth waiting and listening in. You know, I just heard about it this morning. Does anyone else know? I caught one of the trackers. He I see you. <laughs> he said he'd check it out while the trail was still warm, if there was one. But I don't know if he told anyone else first. We'll have to assume that he did. People are already starting to panic, and this will make it worse. I heard people <laughs> in the market this morning talking about unfamiliar monsters. No one had seen the things themselves, but the rumors were bad enough. This goes on, and you'll have a mob at your front door demanding answers. I'm surprised you haven't seen one already. We've got to get ahead of this. So what are you going to do about it? Give me a minute. I I've got an idea, but I, I want to talk it over with Takra first. You're welcome to stay if you like. They should be back soon. Ah, there you are. Put the food on the table and come talk to me. There's something we need to discuss. How did you know I was here? I didn't even enter the room. This is a very exquisite group of individuals. I gotta say, Minecraft is insane these days. About the people going missing. I'm not gonna sugarcoat this, but the whole Kelsit family is gone now. The whole family? Found their farm empty this morning without even a sign of struggle. This is asking a lot, and I've got a feeling your mother's gonna kill me after I say this. Then don't say it. But I need you to go speak with Endandravair and ask for his help. You're Very well. Right. I think I will throttle you. Are you insane? People are going missing, and you think sending Katra out into the woods by themselves is somehow a good idea? Of course it I is. I have to agree with Ellen. They'd make a tempting target. The trackers have been going on their own, and no one's bothered them. Besides, after all the training I've put Katra through, they should be fine on their own. Yes, but you could just send one of the trackers, or someone else. You're acting like I'm not even here. I want the trackers to keep looking for our people. Other than them, there's no one else I'd trust in the woods more than Katra. After all the times you've run off into the air as a kid, you probably know the paths better than most of the villagers. And Vayir's important. His ego probably won't let him talk to just a random villager. <laughs> Neri could go, but she doesn't know how to fight, and I don't want the community's healer to be missing for a whole day if someone breaks their arm. And you're not worried what Vayir might do to them? Unless Katra does something really stupid, which I would trust them not to, they'll be fine. You know I'm standing right here and can answer for myself, right? Hey, watch the sarcasm. We've talked about this. Well, they're right. Manners aside, they can speak for themselves. And hopefully also point out how reckless and stupid mom if i can help the village then i'm happy to do it besides i was just in the woods yesterday looking for berries and i was fine i was hoping you'd say that this isn't exactly you're hoping i'd say that i was in the, looking for berries out in the, the woods the other day <laughs> now, Endondra okay is a proud creature he has the wisdom of the ages and probably knows something that we don't but there's a good chance he won't help us for free just on principle if he doesn't, I want you to offer him money. This pouch has a hundred gold coins in it. Thanks. Where did you get that kind of money? I took it from the village's emergency fund. I'd say this counts. Rounded it out to a hundred using money we were saving for a new roof. Well, guess we're not getting that new roof now, are we? Low offer like 30 and work your way up unless you think you're going to insult him or lose his interest. Whatever help or advice he can give will be welcome. Hmm. If lucky, he might already know where our missing people are or where to look. A bird's eye view could show him what we need. I still think that this is a bad idea. If I'm being honest, it probably is a bad idea, but it's right. I guess I'll head out now then. Oh, before you I love that you can cut them off. Sparring match? Couldn't hurt to brush up on your technique just in case. One more thing. I'm sure you can find your way and don't want me fussing over you. But in case something happens, you should take your father's old wayfinder. Good point. Even though we haven't seen any real monsters around here in a decade, you never know. I might have to run away from a thoroughly annoyed deer. A <laughs> thoroughly annoyed deer? Or you might have to find a new place to sleep at night if you keep up the attitude. Just be careful, and come back in one piece. We'll be waiting for you with some dinner ready. Cool. So I've got money. Lay on hands. Oh, that's health, the wayfinder. I don't like you being alone in the woods, Katra. Come back quickly. Cool. So there's also a menu? Oh, you have it's got like an actual quest book? That's a really, really genuinely impressive. How do I switch to this? Oh, wow. Stats, abilities. There's even the settings? Hmm. 
I love how they give you the option to turn on streamer mode after you've already been playing. <laughs> Kills me. No damage mode, die and respawn. This is impressive. Very, very impressive. Huh. Yeah, I gotta say, these uh, Minecraft map experiences from like what they were when they first launched, because I've been covering them since they started this creator marketplace, they've just got more and more and more impressive over the years. Okay, so where am I going? Wayfinder, tell me where to go. Master Chief needs to know where to go. Wayfinder is not, uh, it's not doing anything. My controller, I'm looking up into the air. I assume that's just the Xbox. Oh, there's the Wayfinder. Just assume that's the Xbox with its faulty connectivity for controllers. Okay, let's go and get over to the waypoint. I mean, I'm assuming the right-hand side looked like it was blocked anyways, because there was a door gate there. Anyways, it's been a while. Be sure to like the stream. Subscribing is great as well. And enjoy Minecraft Dungeons and Dragons. So there actually was. Oh, and then it gives me a 20 crit because I, I killed it. That's hilarious. Yeah, enjoy some Divine Smite. Uh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. I wonder if they got something to do with what's going on. Looks like danger is afoot. This is so creatively well done. Like, it's neat that you could just create stuff like this in Minecraft, like with these whole organic worlds and whatnot. It really is quite magical. Like, it feels like I'm going on a quest. I do miss my adventure group, though. I used to have a crew and we would do all these maps together. Oh, how time flies. It was just mute music. I, I've been told the music is fine. I, I was like, I'm in the Minecraft whatever creators thing. I, I was told the music is fine, but it's like, I'd rather just not deal with any problems. Yeah, knowing how like YouTube stuff is these days, am I right? Investigate the sounds. Very well. I heard there was something creepy going on in this cave. Yeah, I, I did hear it as an original soundtrack, which is cool. They, again, this is like the third map I've seen this on. Developers need to either get rid of this widescreen thing or actually fix it for consoles. Because it just feels awkward having these black bars. It's like, I, yeah, I get that they're going for cinema, but like, you know, it just looks weird. It, it just makes it look weird because it doesn't fit the screen. I miss my adventure group. We had so many fun memories together. As you reach for the coin that seemed to suck the life from Endan Dravaeir, you note a crack running down its face. Whatever these people want with it, you doubt they should have it. The moment you touch the metallic surface, though, a jolt of energy sears through oh, the dragon. Your arm, followed by a sense of pressure, as if the ocean's tide were rushing into your flesh. My flesh? The coin is adhered to your fingertips, bound there even as you feel that the force pouring from it stretches your skin and crushes your bones, threatening to rupture and burst your entire body. Other than your body, though, it is the coin that bursts, erupting into shards of metal as the same light that flowed into it earlier streams into you. The physical pain abates, though something continues to press on your mind clawing its way into your thoughts and filling your skull as the world around you distorts and turns insensible, chaotic, and then, finally, dark. What... what happened? Where is... Who are you? What have you done to me? I don't know. Answer me. Uh, please... Who, uh, who am I will ask again? Who are you? What happened to those people in my cave? Your cave? Who or what are you? Do not play games, child. I am Endandravayer, and you will answer my questions. There's a dragon inside of me. My name's Katra. I, I live in the nearby village. You're saying you're the dragon? 
Do not play games with me, child. Now answer my questions. What happened in my cave and what have you done to me? I wasn't with those people and I only saw the last part when, when that weird coin started doing something. It looked like they were pulling something out of you and then some thing was put into your body. I think I thought they'd killed you. They might have. Did you see anything? I was, I think I was unconscious for a while, but, but I must have walked to get back here, right? I only came back to consciousness when you were calling for your parents. What do you remember? They... I, I remember they... They must have trapped my soul in that coin. I, I have heard of artifacts that can do such. I never expected that it would be so painful, though. It, it felt like I was being torn and... Pulled apart, then crushed until I could not even tell what part of my body I was feeling. I suppose, though, that I was not feeling my body at all. After that, I saw the thing seeping out of my body. But I could not see if it, if I, was breathing. Everything after is unclear. It hurts to remember... I was still reeling when the next thing I clearly saw was your face. A moment before I felt my... felt that transfer again. Then we were here. Now we need to return me to my... Do you smell smoke? Yeah. I'm going home. I need to see if anything has happened. This is a waste of time. You need to find the people who took my body immediately! Only after I see if they went to my village first! They may have done something! Okay, we've got to go home. No, I didn't have any issues with Mega Man. At least not that I can remember. I know there was like one Minecraft map I did that caused issues, and I just like... Go crazy, or I, just, I go crazy and over the top with the, the audio muting in Minecraft because of it. Okay, so we now have to go home. I gotta say, the capture of voice acting, not not bad at all. Very, very, uh, actually kind of well done. So it looks like there's now a dragon inside of me, and uh, we gotta go see our village, which is probably burning, and everyone we know and love has died, and, uh, you know, that's life. That's life in the D&D land. Oh, <gasps> my home, it's on fire! Why aren't you helping people, something cart guy? <laughs> really, there's something going on there, isn't the fire? <laughs> I wonder what bad stuff's going on. Bird, everybody burning alive in the town. <laughs> Woo. Oh no, we're never gonna get that new roof now. Mama! Papa! What happened to the house? It's on fire. Can I get up there? Help! Someone help! Someone tell me what! Oh, so there is someone left. Oh. It's the cultists! There would be a few of you bumpkins left scurrying about like rats. Well, That's me. We can't have you going and squealing to your neighbors about us, no. We want things to be quiet and peaceful. So you will have to come with us. Done to my home. Where is everyone? Take or kill them. We'll have no witnesses today. What are these things? I think there's some kind of weird creature thing. You know what's gonna be really exciting is when Xbox owns uh like Activision Blizzard. We can have a World of Warcraft Minecraft map. <laughs> That's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Not anymore, it would seem. Shut up! Someone has to be left behind. Is anyone there? It's Katra. Where are you? 
I'm pretty sure the monsters, cultists that came in here and said, Oh, someone did survive, means that you're the only one left there, dear. Foolish whelp. Looking at this place, if they did not respond the first time, I doubt they ever will. You may search, but you seem to be alone here. Why would they do this? Where is everyone? Do you actually expect an answer to that question, or are you simply asking empty questions to hear yourself speak? Wow, oh, he's got some good lines there. I was expecting you to actually be helpful and offer some insight, but I guess that was too much to ask, wasn't it? Oh. Uh, careful, child. I may not have my own body, but it seems that I can still harm yours. Stop it! Stop it already! Look! A lot has happened all at once! I had a dragon pop into my head and start tearing it apart, and then a few minutes later I found out my home and everyone I know are now gone? This is a bit overwhelming, and I'd appreciate a bit of compassion, you callous lizard! You callous lizard! How dare you! And the writing is sharp on this. That I am merciful and willing to overlook this slight in light of your obvious distress and lack of self-control. What are you doing in my cave, anyhow? Some of the villagers had gone missing. I was going to ask you for your help finding them. Well, it seems that a few missing persons is the least of your village's concerns now. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> it's cool and not appreciated right now. <laughs> I understand that you're upset, but I am too. So can you please lay off? Hmm. Fine. So what are we supposed to do now? I don't have a home, and you don't have a body, and I'm not letting you take over mine. I do not think that I could even if I tried. As much as it galls me to admit it, all I can do is hurt you. Like, I psychologically hurt me? I could kill you if I truly wished, but that would likely end my life too. Mm. Good to know. We shall hunt the people who took my body. We will find a way for you to put me back, and I can force answers out of those treacherous eels. Perhaps you can use the coin again to set things right. But it exploded when I touched it. It felt like something was being forced into me before I blacked out. Um. <laughs> Without the coin, I doubt that you would have been able to restore me anyhow, much less after whatever that monster of theirs did to me in the time since. It seemed to be fusing with my form. It might have been feeding. That was not the impression I felt. So I've got the same question as before. What now? Short of purging my soul from your body, which I would not recommend, lest you want me to destroy the both of us first, you will need to put me into another vessel. Ideally, though, that vessel will be my own original body, purified of whatever has come to infest it. If your villagers were taken by this group, then finding where they have taken me will also lead you to the answers you seek. Sure, but I don't know anything about healing dragons or moving souls from one body to another. How are we supposed to do all of that or even find these people? Hmm. I think that the best course now would be to seek the advice of the scholars in Candlekeep. It is relatively close and hosts the greatest collection of knowledge in Faerun, that I am aware of anyhow. If anyone would know of a cure or be able to devise one and be able to tell us more about this group of people that attacked me, then we will almost certainly find them in Candlekeep's great library. Rather than walk the whole way, see if that man with the card is heading north. Preserve your strength while you can. I need you to fast travel me, Cartman. Usable advice you've given me. Do not push your luck with such frequent sarcasm, child. Find the cart and let us leave. Need a lift? Oh, so he does fast travel me. Two weeks of walking, leaving over a hundred miles of the coast road behind. Why did we walk if we had a cart? Soaring spires are finally close enough to reveal their details. Set atop a craggy peninsula, rising above the Sea of Swords, the fortress overlooks the surrounding farmland while keeping a healthy distance from the wild and shadowy cloakwood. At last. 
I had forgotten how long it can take to travel when one does not have wings with which to fly. It certainly seems tedious. Remember, Candle Keep is the home of the avowed, the greatest scholars on the continent. Be respectful, follow their rules, and try not to let anything too uncivilized come out of your mouth. I'll try not to say anything too embarrassing. Oh, great and sensitive one. You jest. But we need these people, and some of them can be prickly, even pompous. It is what can happen when you are at the front of your field, or the pinnacle of your craft, for too long. Let's get going. Hmm. But yeah, that's what I was thinking, is like classic World of Warcraft, like visuals, but like built within Minecraft, I think would be just hilarious. You could do so many fun things. Hmm. Yeah, the the horse walked. I don't know. The game made it sound like I was walking all this distance. When it's like, what was the point of getting in the cart? Hmm. That is pretty spectacular. I have to say, I I think they've actually nailed this These one. Fields look almost untended, and I do not hear any farmhands or livestock. Have these places been abandoned for some reason? Keep a keen eye out. If these people fled their homes, they must have had a good reason to do so. Hey! Hey you! Wait! I've got something to tell you about those guards! We're starting to wonder if you'd actually stop to talk! What do you need to warn us about? Sound like Gollum. Well, the guards aren't gonna let you in. I saw you coming up the road, and it's pretty clear you're not from here. So no one's gonna let you in, even to the court of air. Why aren't they letting strangers in? People have been going missing in the area. Travelers and locals alike. Those farms you pass by, for example. Yeah, the families that live there just up and vanished. No sign of an attack or anything. So the people in charge are getting right paranoid and only allowing residents to enter the city. So how do we get in? If you're gonna enter Candle Keep, you're gonna need a residence pass. How do I get that? They handed them out to all the locals in their jurisdiction, but it was pretty rushed, and with my special set of skills, I can make one that will fool the guards into letting you through the gate. What do you say? 20 I don't have much money to spare, and you don't look like you have many customers. Yes! Drop the price you actually get to roll the dice? That's hilarious. Okay, let's split the difference. Fifteen gold. Fine. We have a deal. I love that. This is... this. Now, wow. This from huh. Now. I sold my last copy a week ago, so you'll need to find one of your own that I can modify. Look at those farmhouses, though. The families there were either hmm. taken or left in a hurry. They might have one or two lying around. Bring back a copy, plus payment, and I'll get to work. Be careful, though. The people are gone, but I've heard some rustling around there and kind of strange sounds. Never seen anything, but it gives me the creeps. And I think I saw someone go into one of those houses, maybe to stay the night, but I never saw them come out. Probably just missed him now. Good luck! Of course, we have to do the legwork. We? I'm the one doing all the work. You're just along for the ride. I will contribute as best I can. My advice by itself could prove invaluable. Yeah, if you ever give it. Hmm. So, what I was going to get to is the fact that this is, like, I think one of the first times I've actually seen you making role-playing type choices in a Minecraft map, and on top of that there being like a statistical chance and odd of you actually getting a completion or a failure on set mission or choice. Ah! What is this thing? Well, they had to give us something because we were missing out on the Bulbs Gate. I would presume that was this house. Whoa! That was really cool! Thanks, but that advice isn't helping me to kill it! Just tear it apart. If it cannot hold itself together, it is no threat. But to think you needed my help to figure even that out. I don't like this guy's attitude. So wait, are these guys the scarecrows? Like, you, they use actual monsters as scarecrows? That's hilarious. I mean, it makes sense, but that is actually funny. Hmm. K, 
Okay, maybe I shouldn't waste the fire on this stuff. Can I, like, interact with any of these things? Oh, I can interact with the barrels. Is there anything I actually need in this place? No, okay. Is that what I'm looking for? I forgot, I actually have skills too. So I can, like... Yeah, I can improve my stats, I think, right? Yeah, I got two points available. So Charisma, does Charisma actually help me in, in choice, or does it just help me in critical damage? That's kind of what I'm wondering, is, like, if this actually helps me in, like, chatting with people or not. Okay, that is a really intuitive way to do skill points. So what am I even looking for? We'll click the Wayfinder, and the Wayfinder will show me the way to fighting another dude. Maybe that's why we can't find what we need. Enjoy my fighter ball. Huh. I... Finally! What were those things doing on a farm? I don't think seagulls justify that level of protection. No, perhaps they wandered here. Rogue constructs are not unheard of. Still, you might learn something if you look around. Then again, what have scarecrows to do with our mission? Not much, I guess. Katra, I'm going to try something. Do not be alarmed if things start to look different. Wait, what? Whoa. Okay, what's going on? I said not to be alarmed. Are we going into detective mode? I was uncertain if I could do this while in your body, but my intimate connection to the material plane allows me certain privileges of perception when... Plane speak, please. Village kid, remember? Of course. In essence, I can see some elements of magic. How enchantments work, their origin or nature, what they draw power from. It depends on the situation, but you get the gist of it. Perhaps hmm. this will help on occasion, though I must admit that it is somewhat taxing to use this ability with your body. Please be quick. The state that was holding the scarecrow upright is Ooh, our yep, we got it. The hole where it was seems to have been disturbed relatively recently. This was only put in a week ago, if that. This is such a fascinating uh, sort of package here. Nothing up here? Is this whole house just like a waste? Is there actually something I'm supposed to interact with? Is there like magical items somewhere I'm supposed to? Maybe it's the first house? Oh, we can go in here now. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I'm assuming what we're looking for is this place then. <gasps> is this a magical chest over here? Proof of residence. Proof of residence, okay. And then stuffed haphazardly among a pile of now rotting onions, you find a piece of parchment marked with an official looking seal and titled Evidence of Residence in the Candlekeep Territories. A bit wordy and a bit more aromatic than you'd like, but it should do the trick. Good. Now return to that individual scratch. Let us hope that he is adequate to the task. Hope or not, we don't have any other options to resort to, Valir. Why must you insist on calling me that? It's what everyone in the village called you. It's easier than saying your full name. Be glad that I am a magnanimous and forgiving dragon. Your coin. I would be inclined to start tearing up your mind again. Don't worry, you're already a big enough headache as it is. Ah, is that a bit of legal documentation I see there? And smell? Whew. Okay, well, you work with what you've got, right? Give me a bit to scrape off and refinish the important parts, then I'll start with colour matching, then confirm in handwriting, and your eyes are glazing over. Just, just, just give me the goods and wait a bit. Yeah, I don't think that the documents were in the bean, but, you know, if I find beans later, I'll be sure to let you know. Certification that you absolutely belong to the area and can come and go as you like. Just don't let any wizards near it. They get curious. They've probably got spells or something that can sniff out a forgery. Otherwise, though, no one will ever be the wiser. Enjoy the castle! 
Thanks, random dude that disappeared into thin air that was here as a plot device in order to allow me to get into the castle. I sure hope that in, uh, you know, to make sure that the dragon's voice was done correctly, that they did, you know, the same level of work the Kumba Batch did, and they had the voice actor for the smog dude, like, rolling around on the floor in a motion capture suit. It's the only way to correctly do audio for dragons. Or so I've been told. Papers, please. Here's my residence certificate. The guard glances at the paper, noting the seal and the signatures, but does not peer too closely. Watching him scrunch up his nose, the cursory inspection might have to do with not wanting to put his face too close to the smell of rancid onions. <laughs> All right, everything looks fine. Head on in. Just keep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't forget, guys, to like the stream. Subscribing is great as well. <gasps> Magical things! Quiet Dungeon Master, I want to buy! Considering how you've lived nearly all of your life in a small village, the number of people in one place is staggering, and the activity threatens to be overwhelming. Good. That was tedious, but we made it. Now the next part could be problematic. Only the avowed and certain others are allowed into the inner ward through the emerald door on the far side of this courtyard. Talk to the keeper there and determine what is required to get in and speak with one of the experts. Bam! Health potions, yo. Why would you make the door work if there's nothing inside? Illogical, I say. Illogical. I take it I'm supposed to go through the city and not leave. The Merry Unicorn Inn? Oh, I know that's where I want to go. I'm assuming that usually there'd be merry music playing. I can't believe they're using children to run the bar. But I don't blame them either. Oh, free potions. Am I- is this thieving? Am I gonna get, like, some guards gonna come up to me and be like, Hey, you're not supposed to be taking stuff from here. Yeah, you gotta have an inn. I'm glad they were able to do that. Cause I mean, you can't have, like, a mystical town without an inn. You know what I'm saying? It's like 90% of the experience of going to a town is coming across a tavern. What business have you here, child? I wish to speak with one of the researchers. No beans? But you said there was. You and everyone else. Do you have an appointment or a letter of introduction? Yes. I am to speak with a vowed... Oh, I failed. Hmm. There is no Tenbri on our list of avowed expecting appointments. Not today, nor tomorrow, nor any time this week it would seem. Okay, so now that we have randomized choice, can we get like a Fallout Minecraft map? <laughs> it's gonna make it E10 plus, right? Tenbri, or if we do, that they have never heard of you. Keep this up, and I will make sure that the guards remove you from the city, so that none of the avowed ever hear from you, except perhaps while doing a census on criminal activity. Well, that's kind of mean. Gotta say, you're a rather rude and unpleasant person. I'll be looking for more friendly company now. Maybe in the nearest pig pen or among the rats. Very well. I'm glad to see that you have acknowledged where you belong. Oh, this is uh, actually some sharp writing in this, I got to say. Unacceptable. We must find someone to assist <laughs> us and soon. I can only imagine what those monsters are doing with my body and already I chafe at being confined to yours. Wow, thanks. Well, do you happen to know where we could find a rare or unique book? No. Distasteful as this may be, we might have to find another dubiously legal way around this problem. Actually, I remember passing a sewer grate earlier. If there are sewers for this outer area, then they surely have some for the inner ward. So, you want me to break into a sewer, sneak through Ogma knows what kind of filth, and then break into the inner ward to, what, kidnap or threaten a scholar into helping us? Presumably, we would be able to find someone more reasonable, or at least amenable to our request. However, we cannot do that from out here. The sewers are our only option right now. You only say this because you won't have to smell what I do. 
Actually, I will. You think I only see through your eyes? Child, I am bound to experience everything that you do. Believe me, sharing in your bodily functions these past weeks has been far from enjoyable. <laughs> Ew. Okay, point taken. Uh, sewers it is then, I guess? I mean, you called them... What was that? Halflings? I called them children. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, there was a Fallout mashup pack, but I'm talking about like an actual role-playing Fallout little story would be a lot of an fun woman was if they're allowed to do that sort of thing. Because again, what, from what I understand, all the content in the store has to be E10. And to live here in isolation for the rest of her days. She died from an accident only a few years later. But locals swear that they can hear her sad, maddened singing coming from the tower on dark, misty nights. Is that where the sewer is? Again, they've really, like, honestly, either give us an option to get rid of the split screen or to make it work on the console because those black bars are so annoying like that. Do I... Hello there. Okay, I don't want to really shoot a fireball at him. Can I talk to you? Do you take me somewhere? Is this where the sewers are? Can I swim or am I going to die? I don't know how this works. Okay, uh, I guess, you know, I mean, the dragon did say we pass them on the way there. I just kind of assumed with natural progression we'd be going this way, find the sewers. But uh, yeah, let's go over there and get to the sewers. Oh, da -dun -da -da. Master Chief is already always ready for an adventure. Okay, so how do we get in here? The gate is closed. Hmm. So it says that I need to go here, but I can't enter through any of the buildings to get here, and there's a fence blocking my way. Oh, you just jump right over. Okay, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> All right, that's, that's a lot easier. Oh, is there gonna be some rats here? Is this like a recreation of like, what was it, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, where you start in the rat place? Or am I thinking of like the Bard's Tale? The the byproduct of civilization. People are man. They nailed the like the atmosphere. Like there's actually like a green hazy mist in here. Very well done. Very very well done. I need to breathe. I feel a tightness in my chest. Lightheadedness. I. I think that it would be best to spend as little time in here as possible. Please, hurry through this place. Well, I was actually just getting used to the smell. Thought maybe we could wander around. The fix for that is coming great. Find a spot for a picnic. No. We will move through here as quickly as possible. Do you want to? All right, let's make this quick. That is the right direction, and it seems to no longer be sewers beyond this point. These are probably the tunnels running beneath the inner ward I have heard of. Catacombs, vaults, labs. Much of the work and knowledge of the avowed is down there. Ooh, coins! Unfortunately, there is a ward on the door. You will need to find a key, unless you wish to be fried. Uh, no. No, I don't. Hmm, okay. You still get stuck on the fence. I mean, it's not exactly obvious that you can jump over the fence. That's the thing. There's nothing on the ground. Precisely. Helpful. The rest of this place is a riot of grime and muck, child, yet this path is almost spotless. I would be willing to bet half of my entire horde that a gelatinous cube has come this way. A what now? An oozing monster that inhabits places like this. Some people and more intelligent creatures keep them as witless guardians and janitors. The things absorb and dissolve any animal or plant material they touch as a way of eating. They cannot dissolve metals and other non-living things, though, so they can carry the equipment and goods of whomever they have eaten for some time. Whomever? As in people? Of course. Do not be dense, child. 
Now follow this trail. You might find something interesting floating in the cube's body. Just be careful, though, as they can be transparent and thus easy to overlook. There, look. Oh, <gasps> it's the gelatinous cube. <laughs> There's actually stuff in their bones. <laughs> That's funny. Into the cleaner part we saw earlier. Just don't let the creature suck you up, please. There's actually bones inside the cube. Oh, that is so great. As if an enchantment quite similar to the one on the locked doors embedded in this key. It should work to get us through. And what if it sets off the trap? Then you had best hope that the mage who put it there said it more as a deterrent rather than a defense. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, just going to open the door. Fireball. <laughs> Magically trap door stuffed with potentially lethal lightning. Right. Okay. And still alive. Right. Well, Oh, we're in the catacombs. Good. Yeah. Oh, be not so dramatic. You could find much worse before we are done here. I have heard tell that there are guardians and occasional escaped experiments down here, though that may just be rumor. Wow, thanks. The possibility of even greater danger certainly sets my mind at ease. Thanks, Fire. Stop calling me that. They even have like a visionette effect on the sides. Oh, it actually really has everything on there. Get back! Oh my god, it's the chest! With the disgusting tongue. <laughs> That's really, really well done. The atmosphere here is really, really quite done. Or well done. I always enjoy the Everbloom blue maps. They tend to be like the top level, top tier quality maps out there in the marketplace. Didn't expect it to be so slimy, though. Nobody ever does. Why did it have a key inside of it, though? To open the gate on the other side. Probably not. Otherwise, we would have seen some more gruesome evidence of the meal. No, some people feed mimics various items that they need to hide or protect. Hmm. If you know how to handle one of these things, they can be rather convenient guardians. As long as I you guess I should have went into the cube, then that would have been a fun experience. Yeah, I can imagine the alternative. Open the door. There is the rats. I was like, you can't do Dungeons and Dragons and not have rats. Giant, disgusting rats. Yeah, these things look really creepy too. I love it. Because I know there's like certain like levels of like, you can't have things too crazy in Minecraft due to like the age levels, but... Yeah, this this is very, very well done for being creepy, but still like, you know... Something people can check out in that. All ages creepy. That's what I'm talking about. Fireball. Very, very cool. Can I so I actually can go in the cube? Am I in the cube? Ow. I want to be consumed by the cube. Gelatinous cube. Divine smite. Oh, you're alive too. God damn it. There we go. I wonder if that screenshot actually gave me something good. Oh, I'm low on health. Fireball. Yeah, I just want to see if that, uh, share last image, recent captures. Let's see how, let's see if that image actually turned out there. Nope, not at all. Hmm. All right, let's roll.
Yeah, I've been like covering Everbloom stuff since like the very beginning of the Marketplace store. And another skeleton bites the dust. Okay, well, this is unsettling. I love the giant rats. That fireball is fantastic, though. Hmm. Oh, there is, uh, that is a lot of... That is a lot of enemies. Okay, yeah, no, that is a lot. coins. You never know what you're going to be able to buy out there, am I right? Now the question is, am I going lower? I think so. Okay, yeah. You better watch it or I'll use Divine Strike on you guys. Oh, sorry, Divine Smite. Oh, these things? Oh my jeez, yeah. Oh, this is funny. Yeah, what was it? Uh, I always remember the Candyland map. That one was fantastic. It was a long time ago, though. Did you guys do the Frozen one also? I think it was... Was it Frozen? Divine Smite! You're, uh, you're a meaty enemy, that is for sure. I love hitting the criticals. Okay, looks like... I think we're headed in... The right direction. Yeah, I mean, there's new enemies, so that's usually a good sign, I would say. Typically. I want to get inside the cube. Oh, so you can actually just, like, kind of move through it? Or no, I, I push it. Huh. Oh, that is fantastic. The fireball effect is really, like, meaty on impact. Oh, that's the map that made you want to work at Everbloom? Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. That map was really good. It's really interesting that there's actually, like, work and stuff within the Minecraft maps now. It's quite amazing. Oh, that... Is a perfect screenshot, I think. Right, skeletons? Oh, that's that's a good one. I like that. Divine smite. This is actually like a straight up dungeon. Very, very well done. Oh I keep thinking that the chests are <laughs> I'm like, oh a chest with items. Oh, that's kind of funny. Yeah. Gets me every time. Every time. I need to start being like, yeah, no, that's not a chest of loot. That's a chest of death. I mean, yeah, why would there be a chest in the middle of the open room, too? Okay. It seems that this ensorcelled armor is tied to the exit. Unless you have a powerful... Why are these sewers so elaborate? That you have neglected to mention... They must have had an incredible architect work on these sewers for this city. 
You're saying I have to fight a piece of armor with no obvious weaknesses, or even a person inside to take out? Let me guess, I have to just beat it into a useless hunk of metal, kind of like I did the scarecrows? Precisely. I'm really starting to hate constructs. Very good voice work from Catcher there. But it's also never a bad time, guys, to like the stream, and subscribing is great as well. Okay, are you coming alive? Oh, yeah, right after I use my fireball, of course. Why wouldn't you? Yes, I'll attack you after the fireball gets shot. Great, great. Divine Smite! We've gone to by here. Probably not. We're going to get someone to help us, though. We're breaking in. Let us consider that later. First, we need to get out of these tunnels. Someone might have heard the battle or noticed that the enchantment on the door is broken. We can determine our course once we are safely hidden within the inner ward. Cool, there we go. Yeah, never can trust those chests. Minecraft has all kinds of amazing story-driven oh, content nowadays. Place. Thank you. Oh, uh, we've been found out. For you, chances are that you will only see it as you are taken away to a prison cell. Get us out of here. We cannot be imprisoned. Not in a cell. Fight. Run. Do something. I will use my charismatic strike to ignore this. How did they even know we were down there? While we would normally have prevented you from coming this far, Sage Thessarai has taken an interest in you. Now you are to attend him personally. Whatever you, you mean you guys just like let me fight by myself in the dungeon? Okay, I'll go. Where do I find them? He is waiting for you in exultation, the keep. Consider this an honor, as few of those outside of the avowed are allowed entry to our home. Avowed? Is this a teaser for the upcoming Xbox game, Avowed? To head directly to the Great Library. Based on the Pillars of Eternity you Universe? To deviate from the main path. We will be watching you. Hey, well, nice to meet you guys. Master Chief's on his way. So what, I can't tour the city because you guys are expecting me to go in a certain way? Well, that's not very nice. Okay, well, let's let's get going. I wanted to explore the town. I'm feeling like a real sense of like hostility from the locals. I don't know why that is. It's just like they've all got their swords up. They're all like, to oblivion. You'll never experience your Skyrim here. No, well, that's a quaint looking town. That is far enough. <laughs> I am here. What are your other two wishes? <laughs> wishes? Uh, I don't, uh... <laughs> Good one. Why am I here? You've caught my interest. We have all sorts of detection spells in the sewers you cling to half dozen... Could you not have detected all of the skeletons and murderous rats and taken care of that? Oof. I am here. Wishes, what? Uh, I don't, uh... What happens to me now? Do not attempt to resist the spell. If you resist, then we will have to detain you and try again until you cooperate. Lots of extra bother. Hey. As the spell activates, you feel something press against your mind, and on some level you not my mind is trying to pry away your ability to lie. The intrusion is sudden and sets your teeth on edge, and your first reaction is to resist. However, Considering where you are, and the promise of a jail cell, or worse if you do not cooperate, you relax and allow the spell to take hold. Good. Now let's get the boring stuff over with. Okay. You intend to harm anyone in this city, be it specifically in terms of property, or any other way that includes, but is not limited to, theft, spying, or harassment. No. I do not. Good. Oh. Next, why did you sneak into the inner ward? 
The creep at the Emerald Door wouldn't let us through. Yes, yes, that much was implied. Yeah, <laughs> that much was implied. <laughs> the help of someone who knows a lot about magic. Yeah, this would be the right place to look, provided you hadn't managed to get yourself arrested. Yep, that's true. Okay, now the interesting stuff. Why do some of our spells register you as a dragon and a human? A dragon and a human. <laughs> I bear the soul of the dragon and Andravair within me. That actually confirms one of my hypotheses. It also poses a lot more questions, but that's gratifying at least. How about while, about while we've got this handy zone of truth working, you just tell me everything you can about how this dragon came to inhabit you, and we work from there. Okay. Well, hopefully they will be able to use what you told us to find out more about this group that you encountered and the monsters accompanying them. In the meanwhile, we need to discuss whether or not Candlekeep will assist you in your predicament. Mm-hmm. Whether or... How could they refuse us? Tell him that Endandravayer demands their aid. It is only... Endandravayer says that he demands your help. That it's only right that you put him back in his body. Does he now? Well, I don't see as he is in any position to be making demands, much less determining wrong and right. I am a golden dragon. My very nature is to know right from wrong. Tell him not to question me. He says that he knows right and wrong better than you do. Oh. Well, I may not be an expert on dragons, but I am a fan of them and have heard his name before. I cannot say that it has been treated with much reverence or gratitude, as Endon Dravair has a reputation for isolating himself and neglecting to help those in need, even if they ask for his aid. Seems to me that we neither owe him anything, nor that we can trust his moral judgment, much less treat his decisions as lawful righteous commands. Is there a way we can convince you to help? Well, yes, I happen to have something in mind. You see, there is a clock tower nearby where a colleague of mine named Adro lives. However, no one has heard from him in some time. Since there have been reports of monsters going in and out as they please, it is probably safe to assume that Adro is now dead. Sad as that is, the old codger had a valuable book in his collection. You want me to get that book? I want you to clear out the vermin, and if wizard Adro is imprisoned or injured, help him. If he is missing or dead, then find and take the book. You do this, and we'll call it even as far as your crimes go. Excellent. Sounds good. Well, in that case, I am looking forward to hearing from you once you have concluded your investigation. Until then, try not to die. Very well. So, where do we go to find this tower of power? Over that way. Very well. I mean, it makes logical sense. The areas are open this way towards... No, this is this is not... No, we have, we have to leave. We've got to go back through the city. This is actually a really cool area. Hmm. Very, very interesting. I always love exploring fantasy worlds. Hmm. Okay, so now I'm actually free to explore the town and not everybody's going to have their swords up as if they want to stab me. Kind of seen this area was just background, uh, considering all the swords initially kind of set up facing my path. Now the gate is open. I'm assuming we're heading towards that giant tower over there, over Yandre. Instructed to allow you to and from the inner ward as you please. But if you step out of line again, I will arrest you. Enjoy the signs. Pleasant woman. I don't know. I figure you two would get along handsomely. I understand that was supposed to be a joke, but even so, I fail to see the similarities. Yeah, you would. Creepy skeleton! I love how horrifying these skeletons look. But at the same time, they wouldn't scare children too much. Okay, so we have to find a way to get up on top of this Tower of Power. I'm assuming that means there's some sort of weird hidden side entrance and or location that we will have to interact with in order to get there. 
Question is, where is this hidden side entrance going to be? Ooh, there's a chest over here. Are you a chest that's alive? Or, oh, okay, is there like a take all? I can't remember if there's a take all in Minecraft. Or if I have to literally press the Y button to gather each of these individual coins. Whatever the case is, I have lots of coins in order to buy things if I come across anything good. I've got like 300 coins or something like that. Pretty good. Well, maybe not 300. 64 by 3 would be like 200 or so roughly, right? Coins? Yeah, that's a pretty good selection of coins that will allow me to buy things. Okay, so it looks like that door is en an entrance, but I don't really see a staircase here that we can get. Okay, you respawned. Interesting. Good for you. Very, very good. Thank you for your gold coins. I guess you could just farm that guy if you were out of gold. Okay, I don't really see an entrance. Defeat the scarecrows. Okay. If I were to hazard a guess, they are guarding the path to the tower. Oh, okay, so this must be the way then. Farmers fields also let these ones here? It is possible. We will discover more at the tower, I suspect. Ooh, that guy looks terrifying. Kind of missed that uh, that fire shot pretty badly there. Sucks to suck. Although I think the scarecrows were the direction of where we were supposed to head, not these guys. A special connection with nature in this place. Yeah, but I'm not a druid, though. This shrine long ago. Oh. The shrine is meant to heighten the magic of nature found here and allow visitors to commune with the earth. Okay. Even now, centuries later, the site is witness to all manner of events, from purification rituals to weddings to the swearing of. To earth. weddings. They do it all here. <laughs> they, they do it all. Can we rent out the druid circle for a wedding? That'll be 2,500 coins. Ugh, it's hard to find a good place to get married these days, you know, where you get blessings from the magical beast beyond. So wait, am I going to, like, the tower over there? Or am I going to the lighthouse? Because the lighthouse is over. Okay, so I am going this way very well. I take it we're doing the long route to get into the giant building. What an inconvenience that the stairs got destroyed. Or, I guess, the ladders. Oh, wow, you are a very large enemy. Have you heard of the power of Divine Smite? And I love how they have, like, little bits of, like, D&D &D kind of lore strewn throughout this experience. Like, if you were someone younger and curious about D&D, because &D, someone older plays it, you could literally come in here and essentially learn about the concepts of the game beforehand. Fireball! Fireballs are a lot of fun. I take it we're going down the creepy river. Yeah, we're getting to the point where we can have, like, full-scale role-playing experiences. The Iron Throne Mine or the Clock Tower. I take it we're going to the clock tower and not the creepy mine. Very well. Although I would imagine we'll probably later have to go to the mine. And I'm getting attacked by something that is flying. Oh, look at those things. I believe that is a 20 hit crit critical on these guys. The luck of the dice. This only further motivates me to find a group to play D&D with. That must be it. A bit dry sure dry looks dry like dry it. Still quite appealing. Hey, look, there's a war going on. I see the monsters. Let's get this over with. Wait, did you hear that? Well, I mean, I know you heard it because I heard it. But whether you acknowledge it or not is. Hmm. Side quests. It's those. Those things again from my cabin. The goblins and red things are clearly set against the pale creatures. From what little you saw, it seems as if they were caught getting too close to the monsters waiting around the tower's base. Oh, 
But now both sides are fighting me together? No survivors! To think I was just a kid in a village moments ago. I've grown so much over the last few weeks. Hmm, I take it there's a doorway I kind of missed? Yeah, this looks like the back entrance to this place. Wait. Remember the catacombs. We must assume that this place is similarly trapped. Oh, come on, dragon. Not every area we go is filled with, like, traps. Yes, but I cannot make out the details from here. Nor am I terribly versed in wizardly magics. The spell on the door to the catacombs was heavy-handed and obvious. Hmm. These enchantments are more subtle. I can point out general paths and principles, however it may take the two of us to puzzle them out completely. Let's try, uh, breaking in. You kick the door and it buckles with a satisfying crack. Even I did it! Even a shock of lightning threatens to knock you down. Shaking off the pain and disorientation, you kick the door again and this time it swings open. The enchantment holding it shut, overpowered and broken. Good. I must say, those were rather puny defenses as far as Wizard's Homes go. I'm increasingly inclined to think that someone else has taken residence here. Human, stop! Leave or we kill you! Whatever it is that keeps you here, whatever man or monster holds you, I can promise that I will fight and defeat them. If you leave me be and flee this tower, I will make sure that there is no one left here who can come after you. There's like five chapters or so? Wow, how long is this going to be? This is impressive. Yeah. He looks at the other goblins around him, and in particular at the open door leading to the sunny outside. I take chances! With that, he runs past you towards the door. After a moment's hesitation and confusion, about half of the other goblins follow their leader. Those remaining, however, seem too afraid to leave and instead charge you with panicked cries. Oh, I thought that would work out. It's always my pride in uh, role-playing games is to do high charisma and just sweet-talk my way through things. Triple kill! Ooh, what is this? Can I grab this? Okay, I've collected a book. What does the book give me? Note to leader one tattered. Oh, I assume it's a bit of lore. Hmm. Well, we'll see how far we get then, if it's going to be that long. Excellent work, brothers and sisters. This wayward lamb will be a worthy offering to our Lord and Savior. Break us out of here, Katra, now! With what? Nice try, kid. But this trap was designed to keep creatures far more dangerous than you contained. No, 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 no! You shall not be caged! You filthy worms, let us out! Let us out! Let us out! You attempt to discern any defining features or other Oof. aspects of your captors that might provide useful information, but you are not well versed enough in symbols and history to determine who these people are. What are you going to do with me? Why sacrifice you? Tempting as it might be to try and recruit you, we have been running out of souls to offer our lord. Katrin, you have to kill them. 
Maybe you can break through the floor, or perhaps try the wall again, or do something to force them into lowering the barrier, or... or... You attempt to discern any defining features or other aspects of your captors that might provide useful information, but you are not well versed enough in symbols and history to determine who these people are. What are you going to do with me? Why sacrifice you? Tempting as it might be to try and recruit you, we have been running out of souls to offer our lord. Doctor, you have to kill them. Maybe you can break through the floor, or perhaps try the wall again, or do something to force them into lowering the barrier, or... or... Fair. I need you to focus. I need you to help us get out. Just like I need you guys to like the stream. Subscribing's great as well. Maybe a way to dispel it. I... I don't... Fireball! Try. There are there are channels in this barrier that the magic has to flow through. If you I think that if you touch that glowing point on the wall, you can you can redirect the magical current to wherever you step. If you pull the current to every part of the barrier, I think I think it will disrupt the entire working and cause it to collapse. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. It's quite difficult to to think and maintain the sight for more than a moment at a time. Please hurry. So what did it want me to do? Direct at this thing? Am I supposed to direct at this? Scurrying about in there, like a mouse caught in a trap. You can't gnaw your way out of this one, vermin. Okay, well that's not the way. Things have been going rather well lately. Perhaps if I continue to perform so well, our lord will choose me as the next host for his kin. Something about a hole? They inhabit me themselves once their current vessel dies. Something about directing it through a hole. Talented to merit such an honor. It will go to someone more worthy. Like yourself? I think not. Perhaps it is not such a desirable honor in the first place. You have seen what has become Ophelia. Now that she is our hmm. Lord's host, there is nothing left of her. Okay. She has joined with our savior. How could you not want such a blessing for yourself? I would the roof? I still be myself. Our Lord promises us survival. Little point in surviving if I cannot still keep my mind and return to my family. Am I, I supposed to shoot divine smite? Careful. Your hesitance makes me question your devotion. Like I said, our cause is survival. I will help our lord with all of my strength for that end, but I would rather stay comfortably in the middling ranks and see others pass me by. They may do more than simply pass you by. So the puzzle broke? Attempt quest fix. I need you to help us get out. Do you think you could see or find anything useful in this barrier? Maybe a way to dispel it. I... I don't... I'll try. There oh. Are, there are channels in this barrier that... Oh! Magic has to through. If you... I think that if you touch that glowing point on the wall, you can... Well, I'm glad I'm not stupid, and it was just not working. Because <laughs> I was like, huh. I think... I think it will disrupt the entire working and cause it to collapse. Uh... Ooh, I'm good. Fireball! Do not even think about fleeing! Eradicate these scum! Destroy them! Or daring to imprison us! Hey, are you feeling alright? You got pretty worked up when we were trapped, and have been pretty quiet ever since. I am fine. 
All right. But it sounds to me like you're sulking about something. Hmm. How dare you? How about rather than pestering me with your inane drivel, you complete this task that was set for you so that the two of us might sooner part ways and never suffer the other's company again? Be silent and do your job. Okay. Feeling a sense of hostility from the dragon. Sounds like he's in a bad attitude. Or in a bad mood. With a bad attitude. Hmm. I'm always so surprised playing these maps, and I'm like, I can't believe this is Minecraft. It's like when I was younger on the 360 version, fiddling around making That's stuff and then actually seeing it become content is fascinating. The only way forward, shrouded so and fascinating. Barrier. In the center of the room sits a filled goblet on a pedestal. High above the door shines a crystal that is jammed into a crack between the stones. With Vyer's help, you can see that the crystal goblet and barrier are linked. Even from where you stand, you can see that the crystal has a series of wards around it, not to mention that even reaching the thing would prove a challenge. Written before the goblet on the pedestal is a note that says, An act of faith and proof of fealty to our Lord. Drink and embrace the shadow of death. To demonstrate your devotion. It would seem that the crystal powers the barrier, and that drinking the goblet's contents will either allow you to pass through it, or temporarily lower the defense. Judging by that note, however, I would guess that whatever is in that drink would not be good for your health. I'm a drinker. Letting the drink slide down your throat, it tingles and I didn't do it. like iced water. It only takes a few moments after it settles <laughs> in your stomach for nausea and lightheadedness to set in as you feel strength sap from your limbs. Nothing debilitating, but certainly not pleasant. Are you sure you're ready to face whoever is behind that door? This is the last room in the tower, and considering that we have not encountered them yet, it is probably where this lord we have heard so much about is waiting. Let's get it done. Oh. Ooh. You should not have come here. You've certainly made a mess of things, and now our lord is upset. Yes, though it has been entertaining to watch you struggle and claw your way here one step at a time. You have caused enough damage. <laughs> Besides, I am bored, and while sacrifices are all well and good, I enjoy brutalizing my victims far too much to ignore what it Hapless fools wander right through my door. <laughs> oh, supper! Fireball. I always find the best method for killing bosses in Minecraft is just to do circles around them. Okay, you are doing some damage to me, I can tell. Enjoy those criticals. Okay, I'm feeling a bit of pain. Generation potion going on. Okay, the juggernaut is actually a juggernaut. Fireball. Becoming a bit of a problem there, Juggernaut. Enjoy the afterlife. There, the planes 
Walker's Guide. That is the book that saves Thessalonians <laughs> as you retrieve. Off with its head. I'm just kidding. <laughs> What am I here to grab? Like this? This is like a scroll. This isn't a book. Did I get it? Do I have what I need? I didn't get a book, not a new book. This book? Oh, that's the book. What to do about this one? They seem rather powerful, but perhaps Thessarai and the other sages would prefer to keep them for questioning. What? What have you done? You doomed us all. Do you even know what is coming? You've destroyed our only hope at a safe haven against- Against what? No! Enlightenment? Uh, uh, uh. Believe me, Novice, there is nothing that can protect you from the forces of the universe. Hmm. They will learn. Contra. Contra. Give her some time Run. to see we the need errors to run. of her ways. Then she can dream that this never happened. Fireball. Apologizes before waking up. Useful, primitive and temporary, but even these figments of our imaginations that you call people create the occasional useful too. Have you the eyes for such a thing? That is genuinely unsettling looking. Recognize what lies in the blackest of this. It seems to me that you might, but uh, no, never mind. There was something familiar about you. Perhaps something that I met in you some months down the line. Your role in this world is done. Enjoy the coming sleep and, in your slumber, be ready for the wakening once the true gods come to call. <laughs> <laughs> Threw me out the window. <laughs> That's very, very good. Get us out of the water. Move now. That's very, very well done. Very clever. I did not think to see that thing here. That was more than we bargained for when we took this job. I think I've had enough of this tower and everything in it. You? Yes, I think returning to Candlekeep and its walls seems like a very reasonable and pleasant proposition. To the Candlekeep. I admit that I want to know what they have done with my body. We're in no shape to contend with that man. Maybe we can jump off the cliff and get there faster. Creatures behind that mask. Even if we should find a way to track them, though, perhaps there is nothing to be done for my body. No, can't jump off the cliff. Ah. Or simply pursuing that masked figure will result in both of our deaths. For now, report to Thessarai. They will want to know what we have found. You're not allowed shortcuts. Oh, clever, clever. Very clever. Because I would have just jumped off the cliff instead of walking around. That's what I do. Hey, look, the big troll respond. It's kind of cool. Then you can keep coming back and replaying if you see a desire in order to fight against the giant mythical monsters outside. So many chapters are in this? Then? There's at least five. Interesting. Ain't nobody got time for you, Scarecrow. Although I should buy a better... Here, I'm thinking when I get back to town. Hmm. Job on the castle architecture. You know, you've been rather quiet since we left the tower. Something I should know? Fine. As long as whatever it is doesn't interfere with our task. It won't. Nice. Right, so we're gonna hide the magical potion. Put the regenerative potion there. Ah, uh, do we have the better legs? Hmm. 
We have the better sword. This is a very well done buy system. Bet you can't buy a drink at the pub. That would be entertaining. Alright, let's go talk to our wizarding friend. Who I think is somewhere over here? Somewhere around here. Oh, we went the wrong way. Okay, I see the castle's over this way. That makes sense. Hmm. That is a bit of a climb. Okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to go all the way to the top of the tower on way two to talk to the wizards. The magical wizards. Where'd everybody go? They all like leave for the day, I guess. Ah, I was wondering if you would return at all. I considered scrying to see if you had decided to just make a run for it. Glad to see you didn't. You've got the book you wanted. Ah, ex. Oh, oh, does that mean that uh, Adro? Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. <laughs> That weakling was one of the finest scholars on interplanar politics and commerce, and the academic community is much the poorer for his loss. I kindly ask that you treat his memory with at least some respect. No. The cult of devil worshippers had taken over his tower and removed him. Devil worshippers? That's a bit, uh, extreme. I certainly hope that Adro had nothing to do with them. So many people seem to forget how committing your soul to a devil is usually a rather permanent affair. I Do you know what they wanted from his tower, or why they were there? They had some sort of portal. I think they were using it to summon more devils and stay in contact with the devil in charge. That cannot have been their only reason for being there, though. They could have taken residence and opened a portal anywhere. Well, they did say something about needing a safe place. They thought there was some hmm. sort of impending calamity and were using the tower as a fortress. What? Did they say what this calamity would entail? We didn't really get that far in conversation. Between them trying to sacrifice me and all that? Ha! <laughs> Alright, that is fair. I suppose I had hoped for too much. He did, however, run into that masked man we told you about, though. The one that was in the cave when Vyer was taken out of his body. Really? What happened? He sounded like he was spouting nonsense. Neither Vyer nor I could figure it out, but he then killed one of the cultists and their leader before taking whatever they were using to open the portal. Hmm. A couple of its minions were also killed outside the tower while fighting against the things living there. Pretty fair indication that they're not exactly friendly acquaintances then. So now what? You intend to uphold your end of the bargain? Yes, the charges against you have been wiped clean. Oh, that's good. Okay. So what are you going to do now to help us? Nothing. Help you. Whoever said that I would help you? You did? You said that you would help us if we cleared out the tower and got your book for you. I said that I would wipe the slate clean regarding your criminal activities and waive your fee for entrance to the Great Library. The matter of helping you with your little identity crisis is something else entirely. How dare you? After I risked my life to get you what you wanted. In exchange for sponging away your crimes and keeping you out of a jail cell or perhaps an experimentation chamber. Seems rather fair, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Just toying with you a bit. I was planning on helping you from the start, as the problem piqued my curiosity. Ah. Oh. So this ought to remind you that you should be careful about what someone says and what you agree to. There are plenty of devious people and creatures out there. Uh huh. Either way, I had actually already begun investigating some leads. This may not exactly align with my specialty, but we have hundreds of researchers in my department, so I've enlisted their help. You can just do that? Get them to drop their own projects? Of course. What good is being a hit bureaucrat if you cannot throw around your weight a little every now and then? Oh, and speaking of assistance, I should also note that no one has been able to identify the creatures that you described to me earlier. Well, that's not helpful. That in itself is rather peculiar, considering how many people in this city are fascinated with magical creatures. None of our experts have any answers, though. 
Fortunately, the Avowed are a curious lot, and are working all the harder to determine who or what you encountered. Since you ran into one of their kind again, if their bodies are still where you slew them in the woods, finding and examining their anatomy would go a long way towards solving the riddle. I will send someone out to find and retrieve them. Okay. What should Vayir and I do in the meanwhile? Well, you're always welcome to find other work in the area. Otherwise, you have been through quite a lot in the past few weeks. Go to the inn. Get some rest. Come see me again once you've had a solid night's sleep. I may have some more information for you by then. Oh, so we even get to stay at the inn. Okay, well that's interesting. So I gotta leave the tower, go to the inn, come back, and then... They really don't like you taking shortcuts in this, do they? I do, however, like you guys. Liking the stream, subscribing's great as well. Enjoy the magic of Dungeons and Dragons. Hmm. Okay, so where the inn is the other way. I, I went the wrong way from the inn. Okay. Oh, so I don't even have to activate the waypoint. I just need to, like, hover over it, and it kind of shows me where I'm going. Interesting. Got it. Is it going to cost me to stay at the inn, or is this sort of like a treatment thing for being in the area? That's the question. Hmm. That is not the inn. Is it the inn? No, this over here is where the inn is. I've got coin if you've got a place for me to stay, halfling. What can I do for you? Do you have an open room for the night? Yeah, haven't had a lot of customers lately since most travelers aren't being led into the city. So I got your pick of the place. Just be one gold piece. Here you go. Thank you. Now let me just show you to your room. Thanks. Oh, that's cool. Stop it. Leave me alone. Go away. Right here. Right here. Get back! Where are they? Katra, where are they? They... they... That's not the first time you've had a dream like that. It's getting worse. They... yes. So he sleeps and I sleep too, but he's in a coin. Okay. If you've calmed down, we're going back to sleep. Right. But dragons having deep nightmares? Now that is storytelling. No, hey, back to the Tower of Power, I guess. Please, do not speak of it. It's just that, was the experience really that bad? Having your body stolen. I know you were scared, but those dreams you have and the way you acted when the cultists caught us... I said not to speak of it. I want no reminder of that. But if you really insist on satisfying your childish, idiotic curiosity, then just know this. Having my soul ripped from my body was the most painful thing that I have ever experienced. I did not know that pain could be so complete or overwhelming. Not being able to do anything about it was even worse. Now be silent and go speak with the sage. Where did he go? Ah, there you are. You vowed and I have been working on your conundrum. I have some good news, and I have some bad news. Do we have to hear the bad news? I'm afraid that they go hand in hand here. They always do, don't they? Let's hear the good news. Well, to begin with, we have found a way to safely separate Vaya's soul from your body and put it back into his own while expelling the parasite that is latched onto him. Mm, convenient. What's the bad news? The bad news, I'm afraid, is that the artifact you need to put Vaya back into his own body is rather far away and may not actually be where we think it is. Oh, good. You see, while investigating, we encountered two principal problems. Removing and transporting another creature's soul is actually rather simple if you have the appropriate knowledge or equipment. I've done it myself on several occasions. Mm -hmm. The problems are that Endandravaya's body is already inhabited by a living creature that may have some control over it, and furthermore, we do not know how much damage this creature is inflicted on Vaya's body. 
nor whether removing the parasite forcibly would do even more. Uh -huh. For all we know, removing the creature would kill Vaya's body, and trying to put his soul back into it would be, well, pointless. He would simply die as any other creature does when their body expires. To address this, we track down an artifact known as the Rod of Alignment. Its relatively simple, if exceptionally powerful function is to set things back into their natural intended state. It can only do so on a limited scale and needs time to recharge, but it should do the trick. You sure there isn't a simpler solution? Uh, well, you could perhaps gather a group of exceptionally powerful clerics to simultaneously heal Vaya's body while moving his soul, but that would be a delicate process requiring multiple powerful spellcasters, provided they're even willing. Simply finding and recruiting such people could take years. Will that be enough on its own? Yes, though, depending on how powerful the parasite is, you will likely need to weaken the creature before the artifact can extract it. Living things can resist magical effects, but weakening the target will reduce its ability to do so. The rod was last seen in the possession of Maestan Kimmerin, a morally dubious dragonborn druid. Without getting into too many details, he was last seen with it in Icewind Dale when going to speak to a storm giant friend of his who lives in the area. Okay. There have not been any reports of the artifact since that visit, though Kimmerin has certainly left their mark on various places without it in the intervening time, so we think it may have been left in the storm giant's keeping. If not, then they may have an idea of where to find it. Well, we'd oh, better go then. One of our occultists was able to identify those grinning creatures that you have encountered. They are called Gru, and are part of a large, mysterious category of creatures commonly called Starspawn. Mm -hmm. Whatever their purpose is here, it cannot be good. The few times the Starspawn Gru are mentioned in our books usually labels them as minions, shock troopers, and harbingers for even greater evils and agents of ancient mad gods. How they came here is unknown, but their very presence is troubling. The people working with them probably worship whatever elder god the Gru serve. I suspect that you have found the cult of the Old Ones, which may explain why the man in the mask was interested in the devil cultists you found in Adro's Tower. They would likely have similar goals and could be using similar resources. The sage seems to be fairly composed, but he could be concealing something. It's hard to say. Thank you for the information. Limited as it was. Keep this with you as you travel. You can use this to contact me from anywhere in Faerun at any time. If you're in dire trouble, or if you encounter something that might be very interesting to me, use that. Otherwise, abuse this privilege and I will sever the connection permanently. Now go down to the docks and you will find passage on a ship heading north. Good luck. Thanks. So that's why we gotta go there. Oh, so that's the end of chapter two. Okay. That means we got extra stat points that we can use to improve my abilities. I got another skill point available. My intelligence is, is minus one? That's, that's great that up to zero is that because i keep wasting them by getting like skill point things wrong like skill checks wrong and i like waste my abilities which would make a lot of sense hmm okay let's let's trek forward to the docks so i take it we're going to be going to a colorful new magical cold land Hmm, very well. Very, very well. Let us go. I think the Icewind area is usually pretty cool in this sort of thing. Was I supposed to take a boat? Uh, look, there's a boat. Oh, I thought we were taking the boats down there. Okay. I'm assuming then the cart will take me where I need to go. Need a lift? Yeah, the to the Icewind Dale. Is long. And you discover an intense dislike of the sea, as you hmm. find yourself repeatedly clutching the ship's cool. railing and spewing out various meals into the waves. As the voyage continues, the air also grows colder, as settlements and cities along the coast become fewer and far between. 
By the time the captain tells you that your destination is near, you have already started counting how many seconds it takes for your puke to freeze against the height <laughs> of the ship. Looking up from the railing, okay. you see a dark shape looming through the blowing snow, and something about it that has nothing to do with the cold causes you to shiver. Ah, I see the prison specter has caught your eye. Best hope you don't find yourself going there any time soon, unless you have business. How much farther until port? Not much farther at all. See, there's our harbour. Just keep heading along that there path and you'll find your way to Cairns in a vault. Not much of a place for southerners, between the cold and the rough company. But you'll find shelter from the blizzards and food. Good luck, wherever your journey takes you. Thanks, pirate captain dude. Shivering. That doesn't make sense. I I'm the one who has to walk through this. Oh, maybe because I am not simply a passive observer and I'm actually sharing your body. How many times must I explain this? Right, but shivering? I thought you needed your own body for that. Never mind. Why would anyone choose to live in such a dismal part of the world? Judging by what the c c captain said along the way. People who either don't want to be found, or have nowhere else to go. Lovely. Well, if we are to keep our visit as brief as possible, I would suggest finding the nearest bartender or such who might have heard rumors of a giant. Why do we have to go so far of the way? So if, if you have a dock, would your dock not be attached to the city? It's so weird to have a dock where you leave it and you end up going through this dangerous side route with enemies. Doesn't seem very city-like. How would you get resources into the town? That thing's not dead yet. Holy. Or did they usually have a troll on the way into the city? Or did I just get to dock on a terrible place? I probably just got to dock in a terrible spot, didn't I? Ooh, I wonder if we get a better sword here. 50 coins. Done, my good man. There, that's what I'm talking about. So I take it every new area we go to, there's like a higher tier of like armor and stuff we can get. There we go. So let me let me take a look at the menu. So weapons. Okay, so there's five tiers of swords, and there's a bunch, several tiers of armor we can get. Okay, pretty cool. Who am I talking to here? I haven't seen you around before. What do you want? Friendly. Have you heard anything about a storm giant in the area? I'm looking for one that's supposed to live nearby. Storm giant? That ain't even like a frost giant? Or do you mean a stone giant? Because we got plenty of those up on our spine. I sometimes wander this way to hunt and raid. No, I mean storm giant. Then I've got nothing for you. Hey, though you could always ask tell your goat kicker. She's been around a fair amount, one of those adventurer types. Always looking for mercenary work and places to explore. You can usually find her down by the lakeside docks. Thanks. Seriously? You're not even gonna buy a meal or a room? You should have offered your rates first instead of your information. Ha ha! My name is Katra, and I'm looking for a storm giant that's supposed to live in the Dale. Have you heard of anything like that? Storm giant? Oh. Well, I'd be lying if I said I knew exactly what you're on about, but... Well, my partner and I did see something right queer in the mountains about a month back, and it was definitely giant and definitely stormy at the time. Uh-huh. Have you heard of any disappearances or strange happenings lately? Out Outside of the usual, well, my cousins in Kelvin's Khan have been talking about a lot of rumors that have made their way up here with the trade caravans with Mithra Hall. People going missing, losing their minds, and some stuff like that. <sighs> Not sure how much can be believed. What do you do around here? I'm a right and proper adventurer. Fighting monsters, digging up treasure, finding lost cities. That's my calling in life. 
This woman has certainly seen an adventure or two, a few fights as well, but as far as buried treasure and the like, well, she probably wouldn't be here if she found any, now would she? My name is Katra, and I'm looking for a storm giant that- I think we already storm did that, didn't we? Oh. Any details you can give me. Hi. There's a trail on the opposite hmm. side of this lake, right across from us. That goes up into the mountains, as called the spine. A blizzard started blowing around one of the peaks in particular, just a few years before I showed up here. Never let up once, nor moved. Storm just sits there. Away. My partner and I, hmm. we thought we'd go see if anything were up that way. Or maybe we'd find some magic item or a wizard or something causing the storm. Maybe knock some sense into them or get some loot from the expedition. You seriously risked life and limb thinking that there would be treasure there just because a storm had started? Eh, even if we found no goodies, we might have been able to see what was causing it. Maybe get the town's mayor to pay us for the information or something. And what does this have to do with the giant? I'm getting there! So, after about an hour marching through the storm, we hear this voice in the blizzard saying, Turn back and you'll die here, and some such. We weren't about to pack it in, though. Thing is, the snow was getting so thick and high around us, we could hardly even walk and it was getting dark. We tried to find shelter. But just kept getting turned around in the storm and we were getting right cold cold to the point you don't feel no cold no more it wasn't until i hit the ground and everything started going black that i realized i was freezing to death but then next thing i know i'm awake my toes and fingers hurt something fierce from the frostbite and my whole body was stiff but there i was lying this my partner we've been taken all the way down the mountain to a little cave and someone had even set up a fire for us. But here's the kicker. There weren't no footprints around us. Nothing in the snow. Whoa. It was the wildest thing I ever seen, and I still ain't been able to figure it out. Hmm. Thank you for your time. Well, that is at least a little promising. What say you, Katra? It's the only lead we've got at the moment, so it's probably worth investigating. Climb the spine. All right, let's do it. Six chapters. Hmm. Can I take the horse? I can take the horse. Dun 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 dun. Master Chief on his greatest Dungeons and Dragons adventure. So this is a large area. Fireball. Horse fireball. Something like blasting fireballs off of my horse. Well, this is impressively detailed and large in scale. Yeah, lots of creatures to go kill if you just want to fool around and stuff. Like a proper RPG. In Minecraft, giants have a long standing rival that verges on hatred depending on the parties involved. Storm giants are known as goodly, if stern, creatures, but regardless of this one's disposition, it might be for the best if you do not mention my presence or involvement. Ah, something else to complicate things. That's good to know. Thanks. Hello? Did I go too fast? I went right through the wall and all of a sudden this thing is here. Do I fight you? I think I think I went too quick and I teleported through the things. Okay. Yeah, apparently I went too fast or something. I see. I was, uh, I was too ambitious using the horse. 
That's cool, it's making it have like a hollow sound. The chief is never beat. Ba 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 ba. Fireball. Okay, apparently I'm freezing to death inside that area, so that's great. Got a fireball for you, my friend. Oh, you actually take a couple hits. Oh, I see. Yeah, I definitely I flew through things and triggered everything I wasn't supposed to. Hopefully I will also trigger your likes on the stream. Subscribing's great as well. Okay, let's cut the theatrics and talk here. And one who has ascended beyond the restrictions of their body, it seems. They aren't just controlling the storm around us. They are the storm. If so that means they must die. Be careful. Speak now and tell me your purpose in coming here, lest I blast you off the side of the mountain. Okay, wow. That is awfully aggressive and feels a bit unwarranted. Have I done something to offend you? You have trespassed into my domain without invitation. Your invasion is unwelcome. Do you know a druid named Mayastan Kimarin? No. Should I? You see recognition flicker across her broad features at Kimarin's name, but can also tell that the subject has made her even more guarded. Why are you lying to me? Oh. Dare you accuse me of lying? I can read it on your face. You're even more tense after I mentioned him. And for good reason. What business have you with Kimarin of Clam Mayastan? My friend has been infested with a parasite that has also displaced his soul. Displaced his soul? Told by the Sage of Magic at Candlekeep that his best hope is to find the Rod of Alignment, which was last hmm. seen with Kimarin. And what if I refuse to help? What will you do? If you do not help, then my friend will die. And that could mean something terrible for the world. Indeed. That seems rather far-fetched. Still, you are earnest, I will grant that much. This is a powerful item that you seek, and not something to be handed over lightly. Hmm. Though perhaps you will do. Very well. I indeed possess the rod, and am willing to part with it in return for a favor. The druid it's always a side activity, isn't there? Kimmerin, however, has a tendency to use force to protect the wilderness and its creatures rather than negotiate. The Lord's Alliance decided that they had suffered his vigilantism long enough and have imprisoned him in the great fortress they built nearby, known as Revel's End. He cannot enter that bastion as its magic wards me away. If you want the rod, then you must find a way to free Kimmerin. Once he is with me again, the rod will be yours. I am not thrilled about the idea of freeing a criminal, but if it is what I must do... It is the only condition I will agree to. You will do this thing. A last warning to you. Beware the prison, for it is not just a trapped and warded fortress. Something has changed lately. I have not seen the guards at their outposts for nearly a week, and there is now a ferocious flying. Creature. I love the horse just walking around in the backdrop. Time I've tried to approach I yeah, okay. The jailers have summoned yeah, 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 yeah. The guardian, or whether it is there for other reasons. But be wary of a dark creature with bat like good luck. Thank you. Cool. So I'm going to take a small break, and I'll be back in just a sec. Enjoy the alpaca.
And the quest continues, finally. Now that the switch is charging. Okay, we're all good. Uh, where do we go to find this mystical cave thing, this fortress? Do we go by you, or... Oh, no, we're not, we're not allowed up there. Okay, let's go this way. That is all a Down we go. Order and none of it too encouraging. At this point, the best we can do is probably to investigate the prison. See if we can identify some of its defenses. Can I get my horse back? So we got to investigate Revel's End. Let's get to it. I really wish I had my horse still. I should have should have brought my horse with me. Oh, I've got a cool cape. I just love the capes in Minecraft. Alright, so if I was a weird... Yeah, it's all the way over there, isn't it? I knew I should have brought a horse with me. So it's just a bit of a wee walk, but we'll, we'll get there shortly. Very shortly indeed. Ain't nobody got time for you, mystical creatures. Gotta say, great work on the clouds. You almost forget that they're Minecraft clouds. What, were you guys all here just for the alpacas? It's hilarious. Okay, let's roll. Yeah, kind of wish we had some more horses sitting around. That was very convenient for travel, honestly. I do think they've nailed the region, though. It's uh, very frosty and cold. A very chilled space. These are some of the meteor enemies, these giant trolls. That fire that fireball is extremely satisfying. Actually running low on health potions. I should just use my health again. I didn't the realize it. Fed, okay. Also known as mind We're good. Flayers, We're good. Once ruled vast empires across multiple worlds, conquering whole races and forcing them into service. Ships like this one were how the monsters traveled between the stars and across planes of existence. Be glad that this one is long since crashed and abandoned. Otherwise, its presence would foretell a coming calamity. And I take it this is where we need to go? No, we're not going that way? Oh, I mean the fortress is very obviously over in that direction, isn't it? I mean, that is... That is very clearly the fortress we're supposed to be going to, right? No, it's over this way? Okay, maybe. Yeah, I guess I'm wrong. That is not the obvious fortress we're supposed to be heading to. Very well. Very, very well, I see. Let's make our way onwards. Hmm. Something tells me you want a giant fireball. Yeah, no, this makes a lot of sense. 
below the giant cavern caves of ice. This must be Revel's End. It's also easy to tell because there's a sign that says Revel's End. I mean, the other place looks like a fortress too, but yeah, no, this looks even more like some kind of jail fortress place. And it looks like it's from that D&D movie. Oh, what's this? It doesn't look like a place you can exactly break into. Not without an army or maybe lots of explosives, that is. As much as I hate to admit it, I am inclined to agree. I see smoke coming from the top. I can strike a deal with whoever runs the prison. Barring that, simply seeing the inside might give us some ideas about how to get Kimmerin out. Still no gods? How did we get inside? Was it locked? Stopped or questioned us by now. I do not like the feel of this. Make sure that the front door stays open and unlocked too. I do not wish to be trapped in here. See what you can find through that hole. There might be another passage or something similar. Something to lead us out of here. So this is... This is like some sort of lock that we have to solve? I take it that there's a scroll somewhere that gives us information, right? Or am I just supposed to guess what the number is? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't really see, like, a uh, indication as to what I'm supposed to do with these numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, that's splendid. Is there, like, a chest I'm supposed to interact with or something? Yeah, I see there's a hole here. Is there, like, a very obvious number combination somewhere I'm missing or something like that. I actually have to take a look at the menu. Yeah, no, it doesn't really tell me. There is no sign of movement either at the door nor in the windows. Something feels off. The good, the bad, and the rod. Okay. So how exactly do I open the door? It was going great till I got stuck in this kind of castle dungeon thing. I feel like there's something very obvious that's supposed to, like, indicate to me what I'm doing with these switches. Like, does this, is this actually, like, a combination lock that will unlock something? Or is this, like, I don't see that there's any sort of, like guidance as to what numbers I'm supposed to do on this, if this is even a lock. There's literally no context at all about this in the slightest. And the waypoint isn't pointing me anywhere, so maybe I have to leave the area to figure this out? Am I supposed to interact with one of the skeletons? Is there like a book? Is there like something I'm supposed to do? What is this? Maybe I'm supposed to just leave? No, I can't leave. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, and there's nothing there. I'm assuming that maybe the thing is bugged and something is supposed to happen. Let's try to debug this quest and see if that will fix it. OK, 
Okay, now I'm in this room where the lock key is going on. And nothing is happening at all. No context in the slightest as to what I'm supposed to be doing. All right. That is not great. And I can't leave. And the Wayfinder doesn't have anywhere to tell me where to go or what to do. All right, so the last thing the dragon said was to go through the hole. So I went through the hole. Okay. If I click the buttons, does something happen on the wall? Are those even buttons? Now this is the first time that this has happened. Yeah, I see that there's very obviously some sort of lock puzzle. Am I just supposed to like guess what the lock combination is or what? It doesn't tell you anything. There's literally like no direction or information or anything. It's just is did I pick up like a book in here? Uh-huh. I have a fire shield? I'm gonna get a fire shield. So just no kind of context on this at all. No sign of movement. Okay, so there's just nothing going on in this place at all. It's just, is it broken or something? Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. There's no hints. I will attempt a quest fix again and see if that does anything. Yeah, don't forget to like the stream. Subscribing's great as well. Did that do anything? That did nothing. Aha, uh -huh. so is this like broken? Am I just not thinking of this correctly? What is this? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. I wonder if I can get them on Twitter or something about this. This, I don't understand what I'm doing here. I literally, so that's the problem with the Minecraft maps is like, I can't tell if they're broken or what. Hmm. Yeah, I, I doubt I'll get a response there. Well, we had the developers in the chat earlier, but. Huh, so I can't exit and escape. I guess I can like respawn. I have died. Okay, so I died. And I'm just stuck in this gray place with no answers or information or anything at all. Huh. So I'm obviously supposed to be in this room. Maybe I gotta destroy something? Maybe I have to like walk through a wall? Okay, so, I mean, like, I could guess the passcode, but, like, theoretically, if there's nine options, doesn't that mean there's a ton of, like, possible combinations of what it could be? Like, an absolute ton of combinations? Like, a ridiculous, infinite amount of combinations? What do I do? I... Ugh... Dude, what a bummer. So I'm stuck in here and there's no information. Like, am I overthinking this? Maybe it's something simple. Maybe I walk through a door and this is the end of it. I don't see a book. I've kind of looked at all the corners. I don't see a roof access. I don't see anything. Is it just broken? Is this the end of my journey in Minecraft Dungeons and Dragons? I just want to be able to progress. This is not telling me anything. Hmm. 
Maybe there's like an info sheet or something. Print debug info. Attempt quest fix. Use at your own risk. Well, that sounds terrifying. Check for items you're missing. Die and respawn at the last checkpoint. Attempt quest fix again. Repair. And then it just takes me back to this room where I have no actual information of what I'm doing or how this works. Okay. Huh. Well, that is a bit of a bummer. Is there like a support line? Hmm. <laughs> this is really bothering me. It's supposed to be like a cool jail cell that I'm in and a cool mission. Ah. Oh. Yeah, this this is a bit of a problem. Yeah, this this is a bit of an issue. Did the developers like kind of vanish? I don't know if any of them are still the chat. <sighs> Are you kidding me? So I, I think it's glitched. I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know what's going on here. Because I can't exit. I, I think it's, I think it's broken. But I was, things were really starting to pick up and get heated. I will die and respawn. Okay, so, huh. Yeah, this this is a bit of a situation, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, I guess I could just flick switches until it works. I I don't know if I'm just not getting something that's happening here. One two, three, four. See, like, the other issue is I literally, it could be an infinite number of combinations that would open this, and I would literally have no idea at all what the number is supposed to be. Note to Tattered Leader. So that's from a lot earlier, so that doesn't have any context. So I've got gold coins, a fire shield, and a wall that literally will not tell me anything. I can't exit the rooms, I can't leave the rooms, so the only way to go through is to progress. Mm hmm. I think it's just completely broken. Honestly, I, I think this is actually just broken. Uh huh. Wow, this is a complete bummer to the highest degree. Because I literally can't leave. If I, I wonder if I save and quit, if that will improve things. Well, then again, Minecraft it takes like nine hours to restart anything that you try to leave in this. Menu input hints. Yeah, okay. Dialogue skip protection, no damage mode. So there's no fixing for this in the slightest. I repaired the level, I just end up here and nothing has happened. So if I click that up and then I repair the level, will that like change? Ah. <sighs> It is so hard to play Minecraft maps and actually have them, like, function properly. Yeah, no, it's still just, like, literally, it's just broken, I think. 
Unless I'm missing something so obvious it's unreal, but I don't think so. Well. Wow. Okay, so if I was somebody that wanted to get into this area, how would I do it? So when I came in, the dragon said to go through the hole in the wall, right? Is there a way I can bring up like the text menu of what was being chatted? That looks like it connects to the door. Judging by these notes, most of the prison too. It seems to be a full containment lockdown. Everything. Perhaps there has been a prison riot. Extracting Kim Yuran. Yeah, okay. Gain access to the prison. See what we can find through that hole. There might be another passage or something similar. Something to lead us out of here. That looks like it connects to the door in the entryway. Judging by these notes, most of the rest of the prison seems to too. Everything is barred. Perhaps there has been a riot. We provide distraction for getting out. So... Are... Do they make sounds? The buttons? Do the buttons make sounds? I don't hear anything playing. Maybe I gotta turn up the music volume? Nope, nothing happens. Really? I just wanted to play this. Like, I'm actually spending time to sit here and play through this, and there's nothing there. Wow. Okay, so it's not that. Jukebox noises are up. And we tried repairing this, so there's no actual... So there's just, like, no way of actually figuring out how to do this. Like, how many am I supposed to- am I just supposed to flick these all up? Will it open a door randomly? Will something happen? <sighs> Minecraft maps. Yeah. No, oh, this is a bummer. We're like halfway through the game too, I want us to know what the rest of the story was like. I guess I could consult the Minecraft group or something. Because they're not on their Twitter. Let's see. The Minecraft Discord. Uh, mm, is there like a chat area? General chat? Welcome, welcome chat. General creator chat. Dungeons and Dragons. Huh. I don't, I'm like, I'm really bummed out about this. This sucks. I hate that there's so many bugs in these maps. Hmm. Yeah, this is a real bummer. So... It, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to progress at all. I'm going to be giving up, I think, soon. We literally had, like, the developers in the chat not too long ago. Where did they go? Because I'm certainly not doing three hours again. You can forget that. Attempting to repair levels. Yeah, it's not working, or something's not happening. This is very frustrating. Yeah, maybe it's just me, I just can't figure it out. I don't know, I've been in this room for five, six minutes repairing it a few times, and it's not working. Unless I'm totally overlooking something very obvious. Unless I'm supposed to guess 
the wall, which with nine letter comb or number combinations could be like a bazillion different number combinations that this could be. And then I don't know how many of them too. So if it's like, if I only need to do two, it makes sense. But like, you know, theoretically it could be seven or eight. And three, seven, eight. Okay. There. Now let us get back into the open and hope that we have not released all of the prisoners or in danger. How am I supposed to figure out that it's three, seven, eight though? How am I supposed to know that? Die, minions. Oh, thanks, Slaughter. I'm glad I'm glad you were able to figure it out for me. The combination there. That's 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 fantastic. <laughs> uh, but how would I know it's three seven eight though? Unless Rebels End is taken to enlisting monsters from the Abyss as guards, something has gone thoroughly awry. This is becoming increasingly distressing. The buttons on the walls are supposed to be numbers. Yes. Don't die and get out as quickly as you can. Helpful. As we go, look for evidence of a cult like the one we found near Candlekeep. If we find who or whatever created the portal, we may in turn discover a way to collapse it. Oh, I see. So it's a three. That's a three, okay. So where would the seven be? That is an eight, but it's sideways, I guess. Where is the seven? That's a seven. Okay, I'm gonna be straight up and honest with you. Not a single kid out there in the world is gonna be able to figure this out. <laughs> There's not, not a single kid in the world is gonna be able to dis to discover that. It's not even lit up. It's like dark against the wall. Like you would never see that. Yeah, I, I, I honestly, I, I do not think that like the target audience for Minecraft would be able to figure that out. Because it's like, I was clicking the buttons earlier, because I thought that clicking the buttons did something. Like, I was sitting there clicking these, I'm like, oh, it doesn't do anything. But, like, you wouldn't even think that that's an 8, unless you knew that there were other numbers. Because I was literally sitting here going, like, tapping against the wall, and I was like, you know, does this do anything? And then it's a 3. Yeah, kids that are not going to be able to figure that out, dude, at all, man. That's... Yeah, that's a big sticking point. Because I was sitting here for like 10, 15 minutes going around in circles trying to discover that. Like, it's you gotta you gotta put like a torch or something. Like, you, you wouldn't even notice that. Honestly, looking at it, you don't even... You wouldn't even notice that. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll carry on. Jeez. Huh. Very well, I guess. Yeah, I, I think I spent like 10 or so minutes, and it's just like, oh well. You had a few testers that wrote that up? You gotta like, put torches or something there, because yeah, your, your target audience is children, and they will just sit in that room and they will turn this off, they'll never figure that out. Unless they're like, sharper than I am or something like that, that's... Like, why would you put the 8 sideways, too? It's like, if you, if the 8's the first thing you discover, you won't even know that's a number. It's like a sideways giant <laughs> circle thing. Huh. Well, then. Otherwise, it's been pretty interesting so far. Alright, let's kill the, the chest stuff. A skill issue? That's exactly what it is. I'm good now. Well, I mean, if the developer was if one of the guys wasn't here, I would have stopped plus streaming. I would have been like, oh, I'm finished. <laughs> I got beat by the puzzle. Shimmer, glow, yeah, I mean, like, anything. Like, like honestly, like, if it's taking me, and I'm, I'm not, like, some kind of, like, no one is sharp. I, I like to think that I'm pretty smart and logical on things, but I'm trying to think of this from the perspective of, like, a young child coming in here. 
you know, playing this for a few hours, killing some things, and then getting into that room and being like, is it broken? <laughs> like, uh. <laughs> that is, uh, that is a problem. Yeah. Yeah, that is a bit of an issue. <laughs> I mean, I'm not some kind of puzzle master, but I was just... <laughs> and none of you guys in the chat were seeing that in the slightest. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to get good, I would have just quit. Those must have been the Either there is a spell nearby, anime hey, at least people are going to be watching my video now to figure that out. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to sit here and I'm going to go through all of this. I mean, yeah. This this is going to do well post-watch, I think. I think this is going to do very well for me post-watch. And then I can take a nice easy night and get all this other work I have to do done. Yeah, that would be divine. Update it if it becomes more of a problem. I'm just... I, I think you guys are going to see a lot of notes about that one. Assuming people make it that far too, right? Like, it's a few hours in, so it might take people a bit to get there, but... Yeah, that is... Yeah, I, I don't think I've been that stumped on a Minecraft map before. Except when they've been, like, broken. But yeah, I appreciate you giving me the note there. Uh, be sure to like the stream, guys. Subscribing's great as well. Down you go, skeleton. Something from Soft would do? <laughs> Come on, even FromSoft wouldn't make the numbers sideways. Search the desk or the room. You sort through the room, but nothing catches your eye. Nothing catches my eye. Okay, what about the desk? There doesn't seem to be much here, aside from forms and other documentation that don't provide any information pertinent to your task. Okay. Hmm. Yep, it's gonna be quite a journey. That looks like it was probably the only question is, can this reach me the heights of no Minecraft mind. minions? No voice, no movement, not commanded by something else. A puppet. Nothing to be done, no helping them, nothing. Oh, we've got a guy, the warden. Okay, let's do this, warden. You and me. He looks really cool. I love this dude. He's super creepy. Okay, I need a regeneration potion. I smite thee. See the afterlife. Have to break him. That is all. Just break what is left. Break the shell. Break the puppet, and it will be over. What? There. There. It is done. Good work. Are you okay? You sounded a little lost for a while there. I am. Fine. Now. Well, that was distracting. If you're going to freak out, then do it quietly. Your blabbering could have gotten me killed. Right. Keys. Find the keys. Find the keys. Open the door. Find the horrors within. You retrieve a of keys. Each of which is inscribed with runes and magic formulae. You would never have opened the cells without these. Yeah, I don't think we're getting to lies of P tonight. We're just dungeon and dragoning it, guys. This this is this is my experience tonight. Okay, so we're supposed to go this way. Let's do it. I thought this was going to be a short and sweet experience, but we've got a lengthy narrative to work through, and I am pumped. Let's get this going. Okay, am I going in that way? Hmm. 
Does this door open for me? <gasps> it does. So well, that's fun. Oh, the jingling of keys. Now that is a welcome sound. Certainly better than listening to screaming demons, anyhow. And who might you be? I see no uniform. You don't look like a demon to me. My name's Katra. I'm here to get you out. Are you now? Well, that's nice, but I find it hard to believe. Very well. My name is Mayastan Kimmerin. What do you want with me exactly? Nokra sent me to free you. Oh, finally. She said she would figure something out, but I'd given up on her once the demons appeared. Will these keys get you out? Why, yes, they will. Glad to see someone thinking ahead. That being said, I won't be going anywhere while that portal's still open, so you'll have to go find my magic focus, too. That wasn't part of the deal. I'm just here to get you out, and if I go even deeper into danger, then there's a good chance I won't come back alive to bring you outside. The only lies you guys are going to see tonight are Catros. Call it an addendum to your deal, then. Look, even if you let me out right now, I haven't eaten in nearly a week. No guards to feed me, remember? I've only had the little water I could get from the snow on my windowsill, so I'll be useless without my magic. Also, I refuse to leave a portal into the abyss open like a welcome mat to the material plane. Left alone, this thing could let through something truly horrific. Maybe someone would be able to take care of it eventually. But not before demons laid waste to forests and cities alike. Neither of us want that. And what if I force you to come back with me to the Storm Giant? Then I would be fighting you kicking and screaming the whole way. Probably get a lot of attention from monsters and bandits that way. Doubt Nalkra would be happy with you either. I'll be back soon. Okay, I'll be here. You know, she could come, offer to come and help. Do I jump down into the portal or is, is that what it wants me to do? Brightens up this place. I'd really rather be out of here. Hurry it up. I feel like we're not supposed to jump jump down into the portal. Yeah. You guys better cozy up for some Minecraft Dungeons and Dragons tonight because that's what we're doing. Bear who lies? Spoilers. Oh, what is that? Winged beast of death. Takes the fire. See, guys, you wanted to have Master Chief in a live stream, so you got him. We just didn't have it in the budget to get him in Rainbow Six. <laughs> uh. Oh, good thing there's hay bales down here. That was a 20 crit, guys. That's how good I am. I'm rolling the highs. Oh, for f <laughs> Come on! <laughs> there is autosave, right? This game does have autosave, right? <laughs> I'll jump into the abyss. <laughs> I'll jump anywhere. <laughs> oh, hey, Minecraft. Please don't take 20 minutes to load up and load me into the game today. Please work properly this time. Please don't waste 20 of my hours or 20 minutes of my life trying to load. Come on, Minecraft, you can do it. Believe it or not, guys, it literally takes Minecraft this long to load every time. And yes, it is loading. <sighs> I'm not even kidding. This this is Minecraft. You may think that this is an Xbox first party title, and you would assume with it being an Xbox first party title that it would load really effect effectively and well. There better be an autosave, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. Lies. <laughs> Anytime now, Minecraft. Okay, here's the real challenge. Will it load the world? 
Here we go. Come on, Minecraft. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, poor poor indie trillion dollar Microsoft ain't able to optimize Minecraft for their first party platform. You know, budget cuts and all that stuff. Only like what? A few hundred people that work at Mojang? Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll load up eventually. Xbox. I got a Series X. Get out of here, Slaughter. <laughs> I have the most powerful Xbox in existence. And Minecraft still runs like a travesty. How many people work at Mojang? Mojang employees. It's like 600 people that work there. And we still can't get an optimized version of this game? Are you kidding me? What is Microsoft paying for? <laughs> Oh, uh, God. Yeah, it's like this every time I try to play a game. Like, it actually took this long beforehand to get this set up today. It takes, like, 20 minutes for this thing to, like, load up and get into the match. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Don't worry, guys. It's It's doing that. Yeah. It's only this this really expensive current gen console. You know what? I'm gonna be so choked if it doesn't load in properly. <laughs> I need the refresh series X, yeah. It's the extra storage that's gonna make or break this. I honestly can't even believe how long this takes. <laughs> like what are you loading? <laughs> Cyberpunk doesn't take this long. <laughs> <laughs> Flight sim doesn't take this long and you load the entire world. <laughs> You've got to be freaking kidding me, man. Starfield has less loading screens. So I guess we should put on some entertainment while we're waiting. Um, what do you guys want? Snow angels? This is how I feel right now. This this is my life. <laughs> God, I hate Minecraft sometimes. <laughs> uh. Yep. Don't worry, the camels jump horizontally, guys. They can put a little flies with me. Yeah, I love Starfield too. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Isn't this ridiculous? This is like every time I play Minecraft. I've tried like reinstalling Minecraft, deleting everything from Minecraft, moving Minecraft across hard drives. Oh my god. Jeez. So, how's the weather, guys? I don't know what's worse, spending 15 minutes in that room looking for the walls or the loading on this. Uh, I've, I've tried reloading before, it always does this. This is just how Minecraft is. We, we could try restarting it again. I just don't want to damage the map by like quitting out while it's trying to load. The sniffer egg seems to like moist blocks. Respawning in the nether requires a charged respawn anchor. Ancient cities can be found under mountain ranges. Minecraft Live is a worldwide interactive live streaming event. Grab your items and join the party. Ancient cities can be found under mountain ranges. <laughs> huh. Yeah, so do I like restart this? Or does it like, I don't know, like I feel like if I leave the load now, it's going to like destroy the map. 
Yeah, good old, good old Minecraft. Uh, I hope that someday Mojang gets a proper budget to make a game that like runs smoothly. Actually, you know what? Minecraft Dungeons doesn't take like this. Neither does Legends, but Legends was farmed out. Yes, this is the largest package I've ever had, guys. Here's Frostco. Anybody have a timer of how long this is taking? Like, should I try restarting this? Maybe if I go home and come back, it'll, like, fix it faster? I don't know. Don't leave trees floating. I feel that too. Don't don't leave floating trees. Did you know that nether stars can't be destroyed by explosions? This is going to be a, a very long, long run of this, isn't it? So for the six hour clock you had for how long it takes to do this, did that include 20 to 30 minutes of loading the map up? <laughs> God damn. Place a campfire under a beehive or nest to harvest honey peacefully. Your bees will thank you. Use a bed to set your respawn point during the day. There are 3,587 types of tropical fish. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try... I'm gonna close the game and restart it. I hope this doesn't break the map. I'm gonna be just... <sighs> yeah. If it does break there, not like sometimes it's like when you join in, it doesn't even like load properly when you come back to it. There's Frosco. I love Frosco so much. The woo. What's what? What's the other one? Oh, the chair slides is the new one. This is how I feel, guys. Trying to do this. <laughs> this is why we have the gifts. <sighs> Man. I would kill for an optimized version of Minecraft. Like, absolutely just kill for it. Like, that is one my dream one day is like I'll wake up and they're like, we've optimized Minecraft. Did I build that snowman? No, so people at Costco did. Hmm. Yeah, this this is literally how this game is every time. This is why I don't play Minecraft very often anymore, is because it just sucks to do anything on Minecraft. Okay, what else is fun? What else we got for fun gifts? We could do... Let's see... There's Snowfall... We did the Snow Angel already... Why don't we do the weird one where I'm using the torch to get through the light? Believe it or not, Minecraft is actually running in the backdrop. It's just running really badly. Yeah, no, 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 guys. It, it does this, and then eventually it'll, like, load the Minecraft logo. But maybe I should restart it again. Okay. We're, we're gonna quit Minecraft again. 3.8 gigs. Okay, we're gonna... I don't even know if I have the hard drive storage. Let's let's put this bad boy on the internal, then, if, if Minecraft is, is running like this. Okay, we got a little, little bit of space on the internal there. Just a little bit. Let's move this over here. Let's, let's see if this helps at all. Yeah, nothing like having to kill all of my games because Fultz is 133 gigabytes. Like, why is this game so large? Like, why does it need to be this big? The one with me at the zoo? We did the one with me at the zoo with the slide. We just showed that. What is Zwu? I can't remember what Zwu is. Oh, that was the Zeller's bag one where I'm just like, yeah, this is how I feel right now. <laughs> okay, Minecraft's on the internal. Let's see what you can do. <laughs> the gifts are amazing. We always play the gifts. They're just like kind of icebreakers. People on the channel technically pay for these to get made once a month. I just spin slacking. Yeah. Yeah, this is a little indie 4090. Let's just put it this way. I put more budget into my PC than, than Microsoft does into Mojang, apparently. God, I hate this so much. 
<laughs> what is the point of having a powerful console if you can't even run Minecraft? <laughs> yeah, the Zewu is, is amazing. Oh, it's not even moved yet. That's a problem. It's like four gigabytes, Xbox. How hard is it to move? Just move the game already. Oh, there we go. What else is there? I'm like sad in the rain, guys. It's a sad day in the rain. Oh, it's not even running. See, now the hilarious thing is these GIFs are so high like quality that like they actually kind of break the the streaming program a little bit when I run them. Like they they break the encoder. That was not even running the rain one. Why isn't the rain running? There we go. Now it's raining a little bit. Yeah, that was a great Canada day. Okay. You have a public Discord channel. Can you, like, pop that in the chat so that I can, like, find it if I need it when something else goes wrong? Uh, yeah. <laughs> How long has this been? Like, 20 minutes or something? Come on. You're killing me. All right, three more seconds. There we go, guys. There we go. We got this. Hmm. Well, we did Frosco. Rain sound. Chair slide. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, no, it's a different chair slide. I'm actually surprised. I don't have the slide on this one. Usually I have, like, the slide gif, but I don't know where that is. I don't think I have a gif from Dale Hodges. Yeah, I don't think I have that. All right, here we go. Dungeons and Dragons. Load her up. Come on, guys. This has got to be worth it. That's how I feel right now. Just aggressive thumbs down. I really like that shirt, but it was way too stretched out and old. It's a real shame. It was a comfy shirt. Hmm. This is like this is playing playing Xbox Minecraft is is like being being suffocated like this. But be sure to like the stream if you haven't guys. Subscribing's great as well. We're back! We're back guys! <laughs> we're back where we were. Woo! <laughs> How long did that take? <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna die too. Current gen storage, am I right? That's so funny. I so have to timestamp that out. Okay, we live. We live. We got this. Uh, I forgot. How do you play this? It was so long, you know? It was so long. Yeah, I always post my complaints about Xbox because my PR person, like, follows my Instagram and they watch every single thing I post with, like, eagle hawk eyes. It's it's kind of entertaining. They won't talk to me, but they'll, they'll monitor what I'm doing actively online, which is funny. And there's like Microsoft sitting there being like, this guy's just got like a bad attitude. I'm not like the the Twitter suck ups. <laughs> like I actually have an opinion. That's that's funny. What is this? Can I take this? What is that? What does that do? Kimmerin's focus. Oh, that's our quest item, isn't it? Okay, there we go. Yeah. Oh, I, well, I don't see the link. Does Oh, you know what the issue is? I have top chat on. Let me go to live chat. And I still don't see the link. The links just not show for this stuff. Hmm. All right, well, if I have a problem, I'll try to figure it out. Or I'll try to figure out the Discord. I got this. Although I would really report it to your, your Everbloom crew that, like... That one area there is probably going to be a problem area. All right, so where am I going now, Wayfinder? I've got to be going up. Okay, there's stairs over here. This is the way. Oh, Minecraft is, like, crazy. If you haven't played it in that long, you're really kind of missing out, because, like, Minecraft is insane now. It has literally, like, games of other games within Minecraft. It's it's pretty ridiculous. It's It's come a long way. Yeah.
Okay, I'm... Why is it telling me to go back down there? I was already there. What are you doing, Minecraft? What? Am I supposed to go? No, I'm not supposed to go this way. This is the way I came this... Well, why is it telling me to go back down? Didn't I grab the item I needed for that lady? Hmm... Hmm. So the door is now closed. Am I supposed to, like, hold the amulet? Is, is that the issue? Is, like, I'm not holding the amulet? Or am I supposed to, like, turn off the abyss by jumping down there? Aww. Yes, I'm, I'm glad you like the content. Okay, let's try. Can we jump? Ah, oh, I hate the guidelines. Everbloom's too good at making you can't cross areas you're not supposed to. Alright, let's, let's try it. Maybe... I th no, actually, you know what? We're supposed to turn off the abyss thing, aren't we? Okay, well, I can't get back up there now. Does that mean I'm supposed to go down, or...? Am I supposed to jump into the... Well, where where am I going? What What is this? I feel like I'm backtracking through the whole level. Huh. Well, they did, they did some really cool stuff. Like, there was, like, a whole Mega Man level we did. There was, like, a whole Turtles level. There's, there's all kinds of crazy things. It really, like, Minecraft has gotten so ridiculously impressive and full of depth. It's unreal. I just wish the platform was more stable. Because, you know, they haven't given us, like, a current jet version. How am I supposed to get over to that area? Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. You know what we could do? We could... We could end our lives and restart. Ugh. The checkpoint is right where I am? Are you are you kidding? How is the checkpoint right where I am? What are you talking about, Gabe? This can't be the checkpoint. Well, I can't get back there because the area is closed off because I can't get around to where that lady is anymore because the area is closed. I think, right? No? Yeah, I don't think I can get to that area because it's closed off from that other lady. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, man. You've got to be kidding me. Alright, let's attempt a quest fix. Alright, there we go. Hmm. The Ender. When did they end the Ender? That was a long time ago. You guys have been really neglecting the experience that is Minecraft. Could you please die, you giant weird bird? Taste the divine strength. All right, let's go. Were these giant birds here last time that we went through this area? I remember there being like one giant weird bird thing, but not multiple ones. Fireball. The fireball is incredibly satisfying. How did I even get to that other area? Vair? We haven't been using your magic site as much, but I haven't seen any evidence of a cult, any other religious or magical activity, aside from what's needed to keep this place running. Mm hmm. Oh, yes, strange. Vair? Just get us out of this prison. Vair is such a whiner. I will say the voice acting from the lady that's doing the voiceover, very, very well done. You have died. Okay, so where am I supposed to go now? Say, this thing says to go this way. Okay. Okay, now we've got the giant Glomus cubes. 
Minecraft Legends. That one, all, apparently that one's actually had quite a few million sales or players or something like that. It's actually doing well, but I think the multiplayer died out. Although I'm not too sure, to be honest. But I mean, an RTS game is always a niche concept, but I think Minecraft Legends was actually really good. I, I quite liked it. Aside from some of the silly decisions that would hold back multiplayer from growing, but uh, yeah, kind of a neat concept. Okay, so am I supposed to go that way? Okay, so this time, oh, maybe it just was broken last time. That would explain it. That would explain why there's no enemies last time. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Bugs is like every Minecraft level these days, am I right? Fireball. Who's ready for some Divine Smite? Oh, so now the door is open. Okay, I see. Oh my focus. Excellent. Have you cleared the path to the portal? All of the demons have been killed. And you even took care of that big uh, bat like thing? There's that like one looked four or five of them. Menacing. If I'm being entirely honest, I literally peed myself when it stopped by to try to get into my cell. Great. The what? Oh. Knocker mentioned some sort of flying monster before we came, but we haven't seen it yet. You think it's still here? Oh yes, I saw it just yesterday. If it hadn't flown off by then, something must be keeping it here. My guess is it's feeding off whatever energy is coming out of the portal. Or perhaps the lesser demons coming through, treating the portal like a fishing hole. Well, if that thing's still hanging around, then it will probably rip me to shreds the moment I try to seal the portal. I'll find a place to hide, or maybe just stay in this cozy and very safe cell until it's dead or driven off. Once you've done that, I'll close the portal and we can get out of this place. I would guess it probably perches uh, somewhere up high. Might want to start searching the upper levels. Okay, so now we have to do something about a mystical monster. Alrighty, let's get to it. Well, they did make a Command and Conqueror. Nobody played it. They remade. Uh, they did a really good remake of the like a uh, classic one, and, and nobody checked it out. I'm assuming this is where we're supposed to go. Oh uh, no, the icon says to go that way. Mm. I hope I'm headed in the right direction. I keep breaking things by somehow. I've never oh, okay. actually been up quite this high. Is this what it's like for you? Viewing the world from above while flying? Everything spread out so endlessly. It was. Any chance those specks are dangerous or harming anything in the area? It's Smeagol! It's Gollum! Precious. Yes. Oh, I must say that it is a delight to encounter a soul as rich and potent as yours, noble worm. I cannot say that in all of my centuries I have ever consumed any of your kind who were older than mere adolescents, young and tender. Yes, but their souls do not have the potency that yours does. And all of this without contending with your fiery breath or iron heart scales. Oh, you are most generous in coming here so exposed. The monster seems to be almost shivering in anticipation as it flexes its claws and bares its teeth. You get the sense that you might only have time for one question before the thing's patience runs out. You said that the material coming out of the portal won't harm anything yet. What does that mean? Oh, there is just too little of the abyss coming through at the moment. This tower is a nice incubator, if you will. But my home's influence cannot stretch much beyond it. You should thank me, as I will 
can ensure that you do not live to see the horror. Fight. Your deity's judgment when I am done with you. Death will be the true end. Once I devour your souls, not even a shred of you shall remain in this universe. Okay, I'm starting to think that this might be a bit of an issue here. Someone is a little uh, tougher than I expected. We have to buy more healing potions next time I'm at the store, I guess. Holy. Okay, I am out of health potions, so I'm going to die, I think, for the first time. It seems like the creature gets stuck on the walls, giving me enough time to heal. Okay, well, that was a bit of a problem. This thing is, uh, tough. Tough for sure. Yeah, this actually is a legitimately tough enemy. How do I keep missing my fireballs? I've only got it down to like half health too. This thing is ridiculous. Yeah, no, this thing is gonna kill me. I will hide like a coward. Good thing it seems like it's stuck on the other side. Okay, never mind, it's, it's still hitting me. Okay, I literally cannot escape. Okay, healing up. And my fireball cannot hit it, but it seems to be able to hit me over there. Okay, just trying to keep alive, which seems to be very difficult. Yeah, it's just uh, hit me through the walls. That's great. It's healing? This thing heals? How am I supposed to kill this thing if it heals? What? This is ridiculous. Holy. Yeah, I am so gonna die, gonna die, gonna die, gonna die. Come on, healing hands, healing hands. Heal me up, yep. Trying to stay alive. Heal, 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 heal. Okay, I died. <laughs> I wish it was Spyro the Dragon. Oh, for Xbox? Yeah, it'd be great to have a Man Conquer game on here again, but yeah, that's never happening. You're too powerful, Nabasu. Trying to do the aggressive approach, but like the self healing and stuff makes it very, very hard to kill this thing. How does it keep healing? Is there like a trick I haven't discovered in order to deal with this thing? Holy bad. Is this not supposed to be for kids? Like, damn. This is a very hardcore, uh,. You'll see it times. It's not like they were giving me health potions throughout this mission or anything. Yeah, 
guess maybe I'm supposed to like attack and run away. It's more like the self-healing that's a problem. Because it heals faster than I seem to. Holy! What is this thing? Use the holy strike. Jeez. I don't understand why it self-heals too. This this seems just like utterly ridiculous. Yes, I've spent my stat points. Playing like Dark Souls? Forget Ly Lies of P, guys. This, this, this is the challenge of the night, holy. <laughs> Alright, he's, he seems to have stopped functioning. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Yeah, this is it. We got him. We finally got him. Holy! Gonna need like a <laughs> like a breather after that. Oh man! Even if you strike me down and destroy my body here, I will simply reform in the abyss. And when I do, and when my master calls to bath into this world, kick him into the pit. <laughs> Because hopefully, like, your likes on this stream will be mine at the end. And don't forget to subscribe. Holy, man. I'm, like, honestly, I'm sweating from that. That was pretty intense. How did I get down here? Whew. What was that? Oh, well, that was downright unsettling. Still, the deed is done. However... I fear that what magic I could work here today was limited and will only be a temporary solution. Once I have some rest, though, I can return and enact something more permanent. Yeah, okay, whatever. Are you ready to go back to Nokra now? Oh, once I've had a bite to eat, sure. There must be something around here that hasn't rotted or been gnawed on by demons. As soon as I'm rested, though, I'll turn into an air elemental or a snowy owl. Something. Fly to Nokra's cave. I'll be there long before you. A likely story. Would have hated to go to all this trouble just for you to get eaten by a crag cat or something on the way back. <laughs> yeah, well, the benefit of being a druid is that I can always turn into one of them if they try. Maybe insult their mother to get them to back off. You wouldn't guess it, but they're surprisingly touchy about their mom's crag cats. Never you worry. I'll see you there. Get the heck out of here. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Whew. Anybody know where that horse is? Payday? Yeah, Payday was okay. Servers really cause problems, though. People get frustrated when things don't work in games these days. There's higher expectations now. Could have spawned one of those horses here for Master Chief. This is... We have Rainbow Six Master Chief at home in Minecraft. Whew. Yeah, apparently I gotta stock up on some health potions. That was a grueling battle. I'm definitely expecting some really good post-stream viewings from people, though, because I think people are gonna struggle. Alright, let me go get my horse. Dun, 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 dun. Just kidding. I think the horses were only at the beginning of the map, so now I have to walk. 
they give me a horse and then they're like, no more horses for you. You must walk across the snowy plains. I will say though, they have really transformed the clouds in Minecraft and I wish every map in Minecraft had cool clouds like this. These clouds are fantastic. It actually makes you feel like you're kind of in a bit of the real world, you know, aside from the blocky formations and texturings around you. Yeah, so we're going all the way over there. We will make it through, guys. We'll get there. Ain't nobody got time for demonic, weird creatures roaming the countryside. Actually, does anyone know? Can anyone name what the creatures are? Like, is this some kind of, like... Like, I know this is Dungeons and Dragons, but does anybody have the naming conventions for these particular critters that are moving around on the outskirts around us? I forgot how far away this mountain was. Yeah, it's uh, a little bit off into the distance. We'll get there soon, don't worry. We'll get there. Yeah, I definitely did not see that this was how my night was going to go, but I'm down for the adventure at this point. I am... I don't know what you would say. I am... Not indulged. I am... Intrigued. Eeked. Yeah. Oh, you think God there's a stamina bar, right? Holy. Can you imagine? I can now say to your face, there's my horse. <laughs> I was afraid of this. Be careful. Yeah, I have a dragon with me. We still did what you asked, though. So are you going to keep your end of the bargain? I could break our agreement without a guilty conscience between your dishonesty and the company you keep. Oaths and promises don't really mean much in the wilderness. However, I will fight you to the death. Friends do. They have shown themselves at least willing to work with us. And nothing in my divination makes me think that they mean the world or us ill will. We figured out what you would want the rod for. And personally, I fully support your desire to return to your natural form. Especially if it means unearthing whatever your attackers are planning. And what about after the dragon is returned to its form? Can we trust them with it then? I'd hope so. If not, though, we can always take it back. Either way, can't condemn someone for something they haven't done yet, right? Give it to them with my blessing. Uh, fine. But if yeah, there is a glossary. Dead, You're right. I do right. not for your sake. I do it for the child. They do not deserve to have their thoughts constantly invaded and should be able to live their life without someone constantly whispering in their ear. A person's mind is meant to be their refuge and safe haven even when nowhere else is. Besides... There is hmm. something about you, child. A sense of impending significance, for lack of a better term. I have been in this world long enough to trust my intuition, and it tells me to keep an eye on you. Regardless of what happens to the dragon, I will be curious to know your doings. Now go. Hunt your quarry. And remember that the rod is not all-powerful. You must weaken your target first if it is a living thing. You have a battle ahead. Any idea where we might find the creatures that stole Vair's body? I tried scrying them too, but their lair seems to be protected from such spying. Sorry. I may have an idea, though. We'll take any advice you can offer. Speak with the dwarves of Kelvin's Cairn. I have overheard their conversations whilst traveling as a storm. They speak of their kin in Mithril Hall facing a mysterious mm. crisis, though I could not learn any details. Still, their troubles and yours could be related. If so, they may provide direction and help against a common foe. It is as good a start as any. These foes are unnatural to our world, so they are bound to make disturbances that we might be able to follow. Well, it's a start at least. Thank you both for your help. Happy hunting! There we go. Hmm. I can have my horse back too now! Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun! 
Well, you know me, just uh, rolling crits, hitting high scores, and enjoying the thrills of Dungeons and Dragons. That's what it's all about out here in the wilderness. Oh, so that's what that one place that we went by earlier probably is, is where the dwarves are. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I forgot, this actually has a glossary to it, doesn't it? Can't open well in combat, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I could look up what the creatures are. I was kind of curious as I was roaming by, they like these giant sort of things where it's like, are they like golem monsters, or are they like... These things, they're like yetis and stuff. Oh, maybe like some trolls, that one's dancing. I'm taking my horse with me this time. I got stuck last time and I wasn't able to use my horse, but yeah, this horse is very, very helpful. Stay here, Spotty. Very well designed horse. Uh, a stranger? Welcome to Kelvin's Cairn, true home of the legendary Brunner himself. Okay. And who might you be? My name is Katra, and I'm looking for a group of people and monsters. Have you heard anything about anyone working with chalky skinned creatures that have bones and spines poking out of their flesh? Maybe a wizard in a mask? Don't know about any wizard and haven't seen any monsters like that about, but we have had some tales from our kin down south in Mithril Hall. Just rumors, mind you. Before the trading caravans from our cousins stopped coming due to the blizzards, they had some stranger things to say. They were all over the place with the tales, but the consistencies between them told how civilians were losing their minds. There's been sabotage, murder, and people just up and disappearing, or trying to go into the deeper caves where they had no business be. Oh, and some people had talked about glimpsing a new small folk, they think, down in the Underdark. Just saw small, pale, white humanoids with grinning teeth and yellow eyes. Hmm. At the risk of jumping to conclusions, that sounds at least similar to what you witnessed in your home. Not to mention that the small folks she mentioned sound like the star spawn Gru we have encountered. Yeah, it's definitely worth a look at least. Thank you for the information. We'll get out of your hair and- Boss! We're under attack! Some creepy pale things with spikes coming out of them! They're swarming our guard posts! Friends of yours? You could say something like that. They must have finally tracked us down. I knew they would eventually come for my soul as well as my body. There are yetis. <laughs> how many are there and how didn't we see them coming? The scouts asleep? The scouts didn't even have a chance to see them. The things just appeared right in the tunnels behind one of our sentry posts. I think something teleported them here. Dwarf guard? I want to know this dwarf guard's name. Get the workers and civilians into the deeper tunnels and Who is this dwarf guard? The what is their passions, their background? You follow them to the shelters until this is cleared up. You kidding? Like I'd miss a fight. <laughs> Your funeral, kid. Follow me. Fight! It kind of looks like the end of time is upon us. Wait, I, f I forgot my horse. No! A grueling order? Oh my god. One of those folks with the riding. Alright, let's do this. Defeat the Gru? Oh, that's what they are. I was wondering what these things were called. Divine Smite. That wasn't even that bad. There was like eight of them. We have not seen the star spawn anywhere else in the dale. If they were transported specifically here, that that implies that they were coming for us. How do you figure? They could have attacked us any time. Maybe not. No one saw you in my cave when the cultists attacked me. It could be that they did not know who had my soul after losing the coin that held it. If they had known that you carried my soul, then that wizard in the mask would have either killed or captured you to take it back when he found us in Wizard Edro's tower. So they've somehow figured it out since then, and have some way to find or at least track us. Fireball! That seemed to be the case. We should leave. If more pursue us, I do not want innocents caught in the fighting. 
by ear that actually sounded rather generous and thoughtful. Downright altruistic, actually. <laughs> Just get us to Mithril Hall quickly. If we stay in one spot too long, that's where we were was Mithril Hall. The enemy to attack us. No horse, not the lava. <laughs> You're not supposed to go in there. <laughs> Spotty, no! <laughs> Chapter 3 complete? Oh. Spotty! Okay, where am I headed? Can I have my horse back? Oh, there we go. I got it. Okay, here we go. The Master Chief is never beat. Ba 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 ba! Alright, now I'm burning alive. Can I get the horse out of here? Oh, come on. What kind of design is this where my horse gets trapped in the lava? Okay, here we go. I did it. I've saved Spotty, guys. He's he's cool. My horse is saved. <laughs> I did it. Woo! Hmm. I will say I'm definitely quite pleased by the uh, my main character's voice voice performance. Very very well done. Oh yes, we get the stat points. That's that's very true. We'll we'll use the stat points when we get to the new territory, which I'm assuming we're going to a new district because it's a new chapter. I would imagine. Yes, there's a time for skill points and there's a time to ride. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Spotty, where did you go? <laughs> Who designs it so that the horse just vanishes into the ether? The schedule? So much rolling. And dungeon scrolling. My horse is gone. <laughs> Why? What did I do to deserve this? My wisdom level is down. Okay. Why are my stats always depleting? Like, I have, like, negative... How did I get to negative wisdom? At least I have lots of charisma going on. My dexterity levels are so low. Hmm, I'm gonna increase my wisdom so that it's not negative. It's a bit of a bad situation to have negative wisdom going on. Where did... They took Spotty from me, guys. They took Spotty. I have to write a stern letter into my my ever bloom contact. They killed my horse. <laughs> I don't really understand how this cart man is going to take me across the ocean, but oh, never mind, we're still here. Oh no, we're leaving. Okay, we're good. With the Yetis taking advantage of your predicament. Tis a busy month, though. Busy, busy month. You managed to round the spine of the world, Easy feeling month. the fresh, warmer breezes rising from the south as you turn east and skirt the foothills as you make for Mithril Hall. You keep the fetid, troll-infested swamps of the Evermores to your right as you near your destination, climbing the last slope in the mountain shadow and passing through the Dwarven City's main gates, hoping to find the lair of the Starspawn. Ooh, I unlocked Immolation. That's exciting. I love how my cape flops majestically in the wind. What did that do? <laughs> what? Alright, okay, onwards into the keep. Oh, that looks fantastic. Ooh, very atmospheric. Very, very cinematic, too. Lots of guards on duty. It certainly seems that something has the dwarves on alert. Whatever it has to do with us. Honestly, I hope it does. As bad as that could be for the dwarves, it was a long way to get here, and I don't want this trip to be for nothing. Agreed. Though I will be more than happy to leave these tunnels. We've only the just board. arrived, and already I cannot help but feel trapped. We'll get in and out as quickly as we can. Just the tell board. me if you start having problems, okay? I will. Thank you. Do I have to join a queue? Oh, I don't want a queue. Didn't realize this we were doing is queuing. I actually have to queue to get in here? 
Ah. Uh, was this developed by the British? Stay behind the line, please. Next. Next. Stay behind the line, please. They actually make you queue? You've got to be kidding me. If only there was more people that I could summon more likes on the stream, and people to subscribe as well. Never forget to do that, guys. Never forget. Are you kidding me? They actually made me queue up each of these? We are easy targets here. What's happening? What did I do? Emulation. Precautions of marching is dangerous. You'll be detained, examined, and questioned. Oh, come on. I say I'm dangerous? Our wards indicate that there's been tampering with your mind or soul. Yeah, that makes sense. Foreign entity inside of you. What? Foreign entity inside of me. Ooh. Presence be a cause for suspicion or study. This is growing tiresome. Do you have any explanation for this? I carry the soul of a dragon within me. We are here hunting the ones who took his body from him. <laughs> My first instinct is to call you nuts and throw you in jail. But perhaps there is more to this. Either way, you'll be detained until we finish evaluating you. Our commander's on the way to address this personally. And how long will all of this take? That is for our commander to decide. You might not be allowed to leave at all. So you're the one who set our alarms to screaming like a goat that's been cornered by a mountain lion? Fengir, I don't feel like wasting our time here, so cast your spells and let's get on with our lives. If you resist his spells, he will know. Submit to them or we will use more invasive and painful methods to get what we need out of you. Cool. <clears throat> I would suggest that you answer Commander Tordek's questions fully and truthfully while providing any other information that's applicable to our investigation and or Mithril Hall and its denizens. I feel like we've done this three times. You, spell, you feel a sensation akin to what you did when Thessarai's assistant cast Zone of Truth on you. This, however, is more direct, targeted, and instead of trying to prevent a certain kind of action, you can feel something trying to take control of a part of your mind and thereby compel you to follow his instructions. This seems like a fairly reasonable request. No reason Oof, to failure. with them, right? Good. The first thing I want to know about is this entity inside of you. Fingir says that there is another consciousness living inside of you, but that it does not seem to do you any harm. What is it, and do you or it wish to harm the people of Mithril Hall? Vair is a dragon borrowing space in my head for the time being, and even if he did wish you harm, which he doesn't, he'd be about as dangerous to you as whatever is going through the head of whoever you put on latrine duty. He's got just thoughts going for him now. Personally, I'm not interested in hurting any of you, but if you give me a reason to, I'd be willing to carve through all of you like a hunk of cheese to get to our goal. I will admit that my surprise about there actually being a dragon involved has been overshadowed by the gravity of that threat you just posed. You right? must hope that our interests do not conflict, else the inside of that cage will be the last thing you ever see, as I am unwilling to expose my people to harm. Surprising as all of this is, what business have you in Mithril Hall? Why come here? The people and creatures who stole the dragon's body are hunting us for the soul. We need to find and destroy them first, and take back the body. Judging by the rumors coming out of Mithril Hall, we thought that we might find their trail here. Hmm. In that case, perhaps our interests are aligned. Before we go any further, perhaps it would be best if you started from the beginning and told me all you know and what manner of foe you are looking for. <laughs> that wasn't a question. I don't have to answer. Tordek simply looks at you, only deigning to cock an eyebrow as he stares you down like a disappointed father. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll tell you. But only because I want to.
So these pale things in the tunnels we've found. That they are not from Faerun explains why no one in the city is familiar with them. We had thought that they were perhaps a lost people from the Underdark, as those caverns are vast and not all of them explored. I had suspected that their appearance might have something to do with our missing people. As for whatever has taken the dragon's body, that is not an enemy we can allow to rest at our front door. So what do you plan to do about it? Kill it, of course. If you cannot remove the creature from Endandravair's body, then a dragon controlled by a cult is not something that we can ignore. But you are willing to let us try first. I am. Partly because the most callous and pragmatic smart thing to do would be to allow it. If you succeed, then the problem is solved. If you fail, then you will most likely die and be unable to stop us. Furthermore, you seem to genuinely believe you can accomplish this, even while compelled to tell us the truth of yourself and your journeys. You have spoken of overcoming monstrous creatures and seem to have a plan with this Rod of Alignment, which Fengir would salivate over if you gave him a chance to examine it. I would not salivate. Yes, you would. Because of your confidence and because it is right to help a goodly dragon, we will goodly dragon. Our plan and aid you as we can. Our scouts have tracked these starspawn to a set of ruins in the Underdark that they seem to be using as their base. Chances are you will find your dragon there, or at least more information about where it could be. That's... However, confidence can be unwarranted. To make sure that you are up to the task, we will test you. A simple sparring match should do. It will be you against, say, three of our best fighters. If you beat them, then we will assist you. If you cannot, then we will have to consider you a liability and keep you from interfering while we kill the possessed dragon. Much as it pains me to admit. Three against one seems a bit unfair. Are they really any good? The ones I have in mind each earned their reputations fairly. One slew a hook horror when he was a fresh recruit in the army, and the other two were essential in finding and exterminating an illithid outpost. Very well. I accept your terms and your challenge. Excellent. In that case, Fengir, you may remove the restraints and end the spell. <sighs> the Shaba take you, Tordek. Felt like I was about to start bleeding out of my eyes from maintaining the suggestion for so long. I would never let that happen. <laughs> Else your wife would skin me alive once she saw you. And I would let her. You're free to go now. I will return to my other duties, and when you are ready, report to the Silverbeard Arena to face three of our champions. Hmm. Who's missing a horn? They just keep free gold for prisoners here in this chest? That's convenient. What is the hotkey for, like, taking everything from a chest at once? I can't remember. I thought it was, like, L, B, and X or something. Has been a while. <gasps> We're finally here in the great city! Which means it's time for a brand new sword! We never get to sell our old sword, though. I guess it's a bit of an upgrade fee over time. Alright, so we definitely need health potions, but we should probably buy... New armor, how much coins? I've got tons of coins, okay. So we get some new armor, we're definitely gonna need some health potions. After that mess with that flying bat thing, you are, what's the rejuvenation potion? Confidence potion. I didn't need that at all, that was bad. I did not need to get that. You, you are, you're the magic potion. Speed potion, confidence potion. What? Where's the rejuvenation potion? Oh, it is the purple one. I just accidentally clicked the weird green thing. That's that's lovely. There we go. My coffers have been spent. At least we've got a good inn we can go to. There's no dwarves or anybody working at it. Okay. Let's go fight some people to the death. Remember, this fight determines whether you even have a chance to save me and separate us. Not to make you panic or cause undue stress, but this might as well be a matter of life and death. Yeah, right, no pressure. Ooh, an arena. Ah, uh, yes. The human. Tordek said that he was sending you this way. Ready to get beaten into the dust. Uh, I'm ready to go. They might be surprised about who gets taken down today. Uh-huh, sure. Well, let's get it over with. Can I hit them with my fireballs? Fireball! 
Oh, it like burns them. That's cool. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. No, they got me pretty good there. <laughs> That's kind of a funny ability. They just start, like, burning alive. Pretty dark. Are you not entertained? Master Chief is never beat. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Well, I'll be. Wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it myself. Fireball. I guess Cortex saw something in you and was right. Again. I should know better by now than to second guess him. Anyhow, I'll send word along that you've passed his test. Once you're patched up and ready, speak with him about whatever it was that got you down here in the first place. I love the sense of scale here. Very well done. Ah, there you are. I heard the good news. I suspected that you would at least make a good show of things, but even I'm impressed to hear that you defeated all three of the warriors I picked. Perhaps you can save your friend after all. So, what now? Now, I am going to send you with a squad of soldiers into the Underdark to invade the lair of a relatively unknown foe. We have a very oh. rough estimate of how many starspawn there are, but... If there are any cultists or prisoners, they have stayed within the ruins. Oh, good. I've already made the arrangements, and my soldiers are moving ahead to further scout and prepare for the attack. Before you leave, though, you should wear this. This will prevent anyone from scrying on you, like the cultists probably did when they found you at Kelvin's Cairn. Don't want the evil little vermin to see you coming now, do we? <laughs> now get going. You have a dragon to rescue. Meet the squad outside the cultist's lair. Very well, this should be a lot of fun. Actually, what tier of armor are we on? Tier 4 armor. Tier 4 weaponry. Yes, we're uh, we're coming along nicely in this. I assume the last level is, uh, is a diamond set of weaponry. I am prepared for battle. I am here to save the day. They should really clean up all these weird skeletal bodies everywhere. Venture at your own risk. I thought there was supposed to be a team meeting us here. Yes, it would appear that I'm tackling this by myself. Typical dwarves running away cowardly. Oh, that's lovely looking. Oh, yeah, I really like the look of this. Fireball. Without sunlight, there is little plant life in the Underdark. Instead, mushroom forests like this one sprout from decomposing material. Creatures come to feed on these mushrooms and those creatures are eaten by predators and then new mushrooms grow from what is left over. Mm. They are not too different from forests on the surface in that regard. Just don't try to eat them, is all. In Minecraft, I never believe in buying helmets or feet. Helmets, because I, I need to get more face time. But, like, yeah, boots and helmets, I never believe in them in Minecraft. I don't really personally ever see the value you get out of them. All your targets are hitting you in the, uh, the chest or the legs. I learned that from years of PvP action. Kind of reminds me of like a Planet of the Apes kind of sound where you're like doing the emulation thing. Pretty cool. Fireball. Give me my coins. Oh wow, that looks absolutely wondrous. Very well done. Ooh, great sense of scale too. Great sense of scale. Hmm. 
Yeah, usually I have a custom character if I play on PC, but I can never get my custom character to save and work on Xbox, so I have to play as Master Chief. But that's usually why I don't do a helmet, so I get more FaceTime, so I can recognize my character, connect to the audience. The Dwarf Outpost. <gasps> Horses! Which would have been so convenient closer or earlier on. Oh, hey, Spotty, let's go. <laughs> oh, so there's a dwarven army here waiting. Finally. Was wondering when you'd show up. Are you ready as I'll ever be? Nervous? Yeah, I can't say as I blame you, kid. If I'm being honest, I'm ready to puke. Just too many things we don't know, but we work with what we've got. To help make sure that you don't have to deal yeah, with Yeah, streamer mode's on. Inside. And music's off. My squad and I will cause a distraction and draw as many enemies as we can into a battle outside. We chose a good spot to attack from, but we don't know how many are in there. So be quick. Doesn't matter how good we are. If we get swarmed, it's over. So, you ready? Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, let us go first then. Once you hear us starting to fight, you go to that side entrance over there. Good luck. Do we get to watch them die? Now this is very well crafted. A little too familiar. Cave, the star spawn, and again I cannot fight. No, 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 no. This is different. This is not what happened last time. We are not the victim. We are the hunter. We are the hunter. We've got this. Just bear with it. This will be over soon. Yeah, I don't know. I just gave up on music on Minecraft maps because it's not worth having to deal with all the copyright claims and issues that pop up and the the games never have a really clear sort of context. How did I get back here? What? How how did I get what? What? How how did I get back to the what the heck? How did I get over here? What, what, what? Oh, you've got to be kidding me, man. How does this keep happening? Ugh. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. Ugh. <sighs> Why do I have so many speed potions? That's like really sus. That's a sus amount of speed potions. Oh, so I was supposed to go with them. Yeah, I kind of read something about it on the, the Discord or whatever. I'm in the Minecraft content creators, whatever thing that Mojang has, and they were kind of talking about it, but yeah, it's a bit of a pain. But it's good that they're working on music for that kind of stuff, and it's neat to learn about that, but... Yeah, it's just like, you know, you have an issue, and you're trying to do content, and it's just like, it's just not worth all the effort. On my end, at least. Like, I think, what is it, I did like a Minecraft Santa map, then we got claimed way after, and I've had multiple other music claims on doing these things. Boom! I guess I could have been playing the Minecraft lo-fi music in the background, that would have been nice. I know that one's content safe. Here's the guys, they released like this, like, usable for like streaming stuff, like Minecraft lo-fi music, sounds pretty nice. If anything, I should have a stream of that running in the background the whole time. I take it I'm supposed to go down this long wandering hallway. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, probably would have been really cool had the music. 
Oh well, no point now. Die, cultist. How many hours do I need to review Fulza? Well, you know, you gotta take a look and see how the cars look, and, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's probably gonna play the same as all the other ones. <laughs> the real grind this week is gonna be Mirage. I definitely wasn't expecting this to be so expansive, though. I was kind of assuming it'd be like the other Minecraft maps where it's like hour two hours long so kind of impressive the minecraft lo-fi is good is it i should have like a 24-hour stream just playing it and people listening would be interesting anyways don't forget to like the stream guys subscribing is great as well emulation Could use it when I take breaks, right? That's what I was thinking. Just have the lo-fi music kind of play in, just kind of like, be like, is that Minecraft music? It'd be like, yep. I feel like I'm under the effect of some kind of weird thing. As if I've been poisoned or something. Cultists would never stoop so low, would they? Divine Smite! Yeah, I was actually thinking of downloading all that lo-fi Minecraft music and just kind of like having it when I need it. Because I'm like, that is really helpful. Oh, we're supposed to be going this way. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to interrupt the satanic ritual. It's looking cool. That was pretty awesome. Mirage? What is Mirage? Yeah, you can play like anything in Minecraft technically with others if you want to. The only thing that'll happen is like some maps will break, but most of them do actually work it and, or work with it and even support it at this point. How do I collect this? Am I collecting this? I kind of want this. Can I take this? I want this. No, I can't have it, but I want it. Hmm. I want to add it to my collection. Wow, there are a lot of enemies here. Whoa, that is that is quite a collection of uh, gruels, grooves, something like that. You can kind of train them, you can hurt them in a bigger group at once, right? Multiple slash hits. You gotta teach them like they're zombies, or treat them like they're zombies from Call of Duty. That's the most effective way to take them down. Oh, and I'm being flanked. I love the crit elements. That was designed for four player, up to four players. So you guys gotta go and you gotta pitch to Microsoft now that you wanna do a Fallout map with the uh, with the role playing choices. Tell them you wanna do Fallout New Vegas and you'll just rake in the coins. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Actually, you know what would be really fun would be to see, like, Oblivion or, like, if you could remake something like Skyrim or, like, Morrowind in this? Oh my god. Yeah. 
And I mean, Microsoft owns all that stuff now, so you can really do whatever. Okay, so where are we headed? The, view the viewfinder doesn't seem to be telling me a waypoint. Wayfinder is not telling me the way. Free the prisoners. Oh, okay. A lot of cultists. I can see why you can have more people. This would be easier. I've come to save you. Are you a dwarf? The ones in the robes, all those things with them. They... No, never mind. Just help me out of here. Help me out of here, please. Get me out. Mm, you'll stay. No. And I never saw him again. <laughs> Thank Helm. Tom, Timora, and anyone else who might be listening. I didn't think anyone would come for us. Please get us out of here. We're starving. Some of us have been disappearing. I sadly don't care about your plight, but because I have to do this to complete the mission, I will let you free. Katra, is that you? Mary? IPs based on rigs. See, uh, I've heard about the E10 plus rating, but this game does have a Minecraft Fallout pack that is in this, right? So I don't know why they'd be allowed to do a Minecraft Fallout pack if you couldn't. You know what I mean? It's literally something that is in this game. I own it. And they also have Mass Effect and Halo. There's, there's no reason you couldn't. <laughs> I feel like you could make it work. Is this my content? Yeah, because I've got like Fallout, there's Halo. Let's see, where is that? F. Farm, Fantasy, Farm Life. At least there was a Fallout pack. Does it have a different name than Fallout? I've done a video on it, I know it's real. Maybe I gotta go to like textures. Was it a texture pack or was it like a mashup pack? Yeah, there it is. The Vault Tech Ma- So why is it called the Vault Tech Mashup Pack if it's for Fallout? No, it's Star Wars. You can like cut off people's limbs and they get cauterized. No, like adult stuff in this. It's a newer rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing here? We had all the cultists that already killed you, or that maybe you had gotten away. Why are you here? How are you here? And what's all this new equipment? It's a long story, one we don't have time for. Have you seen the dragon? Do you know where it is? Yes. It's a real bummer because you could do like a Skyrim map, and that would also be like a huge hit. A portal that the cultists have to activate every time they want to pass through. We'll just have to wait till Minecraft or Microsoft becomes a little bit more kind and lessens their rulings on Minecraft level content. Katra, I had always heard that dragons were wise creatures, even if some were evil. But this one seems insane. It's irrational, destructive, and yet it watches us with such intelligent eyes. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. I was told that anything that was like too violent or couldn't be under an E10 rating wasn't allowed. So movies, TVs, and books are free. Interesting. Also, Nuri, very, very interesting. Are, my parents? are they still alive? They were taken away some weeks ago and never came hmm. back. I don't know what happened to them, but, well, Katra, the people who are taken away never come back. No, this is Dungeons and Dragons in Minecraft. Come on, you should know this. <laughs> it's the Larva Mage. I haven't seen you in four hours. No, three hours. What have you done with my parents? Your parents are alive. Oh, I thought they were dead and burned alive. When found you in the frozen north, we would have offered to trade them for you. Had our messenger not been killed by one of the short, hairy ones first. Yeah, I sure wish I had music on too. We have no more use for you now. But you are disrupting our plan. Instead, we will release them and the rest of your village if you leave immediately. If you do not, though, 
I will send these enlightened ones to remove them from your world while I destroy you here. So, you and your friends and family leave us in peace, or you attempt some silly rescue and condemn your parents. Katra, do not even think about leaving yet. I have my parents, though. Do you remember what happened when we last met this person? We were thrown from a tower. Getting everyone out without a fight could save all of our lives. Not mine. We cannot be sure that your parents are even still alive, Katra, but we know that they have my body. Your body? That's all you can think about? They have my family and my village. You're being selfish. And you're not thinking clearly. There is no reason for this creature to uphold their end of the bargain. He wants us gone because we can do damage here. They will continue to come after us until they get what they want. I won't fall for your lies. You will meet your end here. Get him, Katra! I'm coming for you, Larva Mage. Burn alive! You are probably one of the most unsettling and disgusting things I've seen in Minecraft. It's fantastic. Gotta be honest, Larva Mage, that flying, weird, green, golem-speaking thing was... was a little bit harder than you are. <laughs> Enjoy death, yo! They may be delayed for a time if this has already passed. Or has it yet to time? Fireball. Annoying. You, you will come for the greater rot. I see. Our time for the worms is not yet right, and my master does not mind delays in the course of his eternity. But the swarm is impatient. They are eager to show you the waking world beyond this dream. They still yearn to eat your eyes so that you can see the truth of the universe. The monster has stopped caring if we understand it, I think. I Fireball. see that you come for the greater art. Yes. Yes, I will enjoy that struggle. Is it dead? I always knew something was wrong about them, but that... I thought it was human at first, but... You need to lead us out of here, right now. I will organize the prisoners, and you will show us the way. No, not yet. Excuse me? I have to do something here first. I made a promise, and I think fulfilling it will also keep those monsters from ever hurting people again. Besides, there's a battle in the cavern, and the soldiers on our side can't protect you until it's done. But you... We have to... Very well. I will organize us as best I can and find a place to hide or barricade ourselves that isn't... this. We'll see if we can find any other captives while we're at it. You just make sure to come back alive and come back quickly, you hear me? 
That's the plan. Yeah. Alright, I'ma turn on this music. But I swear if I get any sort of copyright claim, I will come after you, Redstone Scientist. <laughs> any sort of musical claim, I will find you. <laughs> And I will be extremely mad, considering how long I've had to, <laughs> had to work through this streaming-wise. Okay, here we go. Streamer mode disabled. Okay, I clicked the wrong thing. Streamer mode disabled. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Usually 26. Not even any music playing. You moose. Oh, there's music, guys. Now, finally, after all this time, we have defeated that creature in the robes, and now, now I can be free again. Yeah, almost there. You ready for this? No, I'm sick. Terrified and furious, I want this done already. He's monologuing. Us, including the sick part. Good luck. Thanks. I had hoped not Is it alive? to my lord with such blind, foolish meat as yourself. But if one of us cannot fulfill our master's desire, then the other must. Once you have been eaten and your flesh given to our master, once both of your souls have been expended, you will see our truth and join us. What is this? louder in the stream? How loud is it in the stream? That's why I don't adjust my music settings halfway through. Yes, this confidence potion, that's just what I needed. Fireball! Huh, I thought he'd be tougher. <laughs> I should have just stood there and let him be in that spot and hit him over and over again. <laughs> but Master yeah, they're renting Master Chief out because he doesn't have a home at Microsoft anymore. <laughs> they call him the Budget Chief. Yeah, there was even a Skyrim texture pack for this game, too, at one point. Microsoft's no fun with Minecraft. Although they did let us do Dungeons & Dragons, which is a bit of a surprise. Take the wins where you can get them, I guess. That kind of hurt my feelings a little bit.
Also, who do I complain to about that puzzle where you had to like see the letters on the wall and you literally couldn't even tell what the letters on the wall were? That was crazy. I stood in that cell for 15 minutes trying to figure that out. You're dead, dragon. Stab in the face! You just got rotted, yo. I don't watch any Disney stuff anymore for shows. I've given up. What is that? Burn it, dragon! Burn it! Please tell me you forced the voiceover actor to sit down on the floor doing smog like Cumberbatch did for smog. <laughs> that was an entertaining stumbling block. What's this guy's problem? An enjoyable show. I will not stop you. It is clear that this attempt to bring my world's enlightenment to your limited minds has been rejected and foiled. However, I would give you a parting gift. If anything, just so that there is still something left for when my master and my greater self finally step out of your kind's dreams and into this reality. He doesn't look too good. That is one well-designed dragon. Yes, an interesting dream for sure. <laughs> this is because a bunch of worms on the ground. That is such a good effect with the mask flopping down. Very, very well done. Bravo on that. Yeah, I've, I've, I've given up on the Star Wars Disney stuff. I, I have no interest in any of the shows. I, I won't watch any more of them. I still feel you, but all I feel is fear and pain. Where are you? Katra! Oh, thank all the divines, you're safe! Oh, these are my parents. I didn't like them that much. I thought that you were... I, I feared the worst. I didn't... I thought the worst when you guys didn't like the stream enough. What do we have to do? Your father's a bit of a wreck seeing you again, and I can't say I blame him, but we can manage whatever he has does. worms. I'm not a doctor. I'm sorry, but I think my friend is really hurt. I have to find him. Just, uh, just have everyone follow me. I hope my horse is here where I left it. Oh, there's the dragon. Can I fly the dragon? That was, that was one of the most harrowing fights I've ever endured. Fireball. Song. And you should have seen how many of those wretches we cut down. But I never want to do that again. I'm considering an early retirement after that. I think your retirement as a dwarf is death, isn't it? I saw the dragon run by. It didn't see us, and I wasn't sure if it was friendly or still under Fireball. control. So we decided to wait and see if you could explain things. It's Vire, but something's wrong. He's hurting. Did you see where he went? I. He's right outside. He's right there. I can see him with my line of sight. With the sad piano music. Not as good as the snow, the Starfield parents, they made me feel. Fire, no! He's just a lonely dragon. Emulation. Whoa! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Believe it or not, guys, this is cinema. Easy, 
easy. It's okay, honey. I... Where? Ah. You're with us. You're safe. The demons! Where are the demons? There are no demons. It's just us. You're okay. I feel like my parents are demons. I saw them. I saw... Ah, oh, my head. I can't. We're here. What happened to him? I am here again. What was that? What did we just see? Why are we not in your body? The creature of worms forced that vision into my mind. It was maddening. Agonizing. I did not mean to return to your mind and expose you in the first place. It simply happened. I do not know why. I am sorry. It's okay. It just... It still hurts. <sighs> Plaqued by... You mean plagued by visions? I can remember it, but it, it doesn't make sense. And uh, it, it hurts to think about. To remember yes we felt and saw the same thing i can oh, only make out parts the beginning is difficult to interpret it seemed like nonsense to me however the last scene that was a vision of demogorgon prince of demons the very embodiment of chaos he wants nothing more than to drag all of creation into the infinite Tumultuous depths of the abyss. What does he have to do with anything? Even if you could not understand the message, I could. I could feel it in my bones, at least for the brief time that I had any. Demogorgon is coming, and will bring his swarms of howling, ravening demons with him. Exactly. Good news. Okay, one thing at a time. We need to get going before something attacks us in these tunnels. C can you go back into your body if we use the rod again? Maybe, but I fear that the vision will return. Even if it does not, I felt that my brain ached and was ready to split from what I had seen. I worry that even if I can endure the pain, being in my own body for too long will drive me mad. Whoa. Okay, that's a problem. I can't move your body on my own. None of us can. And I... I can't just leave you here in the Underdark. Use the rod, then. I will stay in my body for as long as I can stand it before I come back into yours. As much as I hate to admit it, I do not think that I can survive in my own flesh. You will have to move me a small distance at a time. Okay, then. This is going to take a long time. We can only move for a little while before he needs to rest. Can you still escort all of us out of these tunnels and back to Mithril Hall? Hmm. It's an inconvenience, no doubt about that. But I'm more worried about being stuck and exposed down here. Still, if it's the only way to get the dragon back up, then my squad and I still have a mission to fulfill. It took six months optimizing this for the PlayStation and the Switch. That's crazy. Good work. Ten months of development too. Wild. So we can expect a sequel in like three months, right? <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right then. Let's hmm. get started. Can we put this thing on a cart? He's just a lonely dragon. Never in all my days did I think to see a dragon in Mithril Hall. Not after what Shimmergloom did to this place. Inviting one to stay with us, though. Preposterous. Yeah, here we are. Fengir tells me that even though the body is healed, every time Vair attempts to re-enter his body, while the vision is still fresh in both his brain and soul, 
Hmm. Causes the brain itself to start tearing apart? Fengir, what do you propose to fix this? Unfortunately, there is no quick solution. Should we wipe the memory from the dragon's brain, his soul still remembers. That's deep. The soul would reintroduce the vision to the brain, and we would be in the same place we started. The best we can do is to fortify the mind so that the brain will be strong enough to endure the information and the soul returns. Honestly, this is a fascinating opportunity to investigate how we might strengthen our minds and perhaps accept eldritch knowledge that... Thank you, Fengir, that's enough. We'll talk about this more over dinner once our work is done. That means this will take some time. Now, according to you two, how long until Demogorgon arrives? We aren't sure. We think it's pretty soon, but we can't be sure how soon. And what other proof do you have that they will indeed appear? Um, we... <clears throat> Actually, Tordek, the priests, wizards, and I already ran tests and managed a bit of divination. As distressing as this is to admit, what Katra describes is very possible. Maybe even likely. Well then, in that case, we will need a plan, and soon. Most of all, though, we need information. Our priests and clerics here can only tell us so much, and I question how useful their often biased insights will be in the first place. Hey! Well, if it is information we need... We know someone who might be able to help. I've been meaning to contact him about this anyhow. We can talk to him right away. Good. While you're doing that, I will see what I can do about improving our defenses against demons, of all things. Uh, I never should have wished that this job was more interesting. Let Fengir listen in on the conversation if you can. He will be able to add more than I. Well, who's this helpful soul you've managed to find? A friend from home? Maybe the Avowed who helped you in Candlekeep? That's the one. Who was that, by the way? Any chance I'd know their name? It was Archmage Thessarai, Sage of Magic in Candlekeep. Wait, shit! Yeah, <laughs> maybe I should have mentioned that when I was explaining everything after I first got here. Would have been a good thing to mention. And you can just contact him whenever you like? Of course. Well, not really. He made it pretty clear that this was a limited privilege. Still, he would even... The you... But I... Oh, just talk to him already. This is actually like a phone call ring of phone sound, really? The one with the dragon issue? I hope that you aren't using this stone just to ask for gardening advice or to tell me about the nice dog you saw. Well, if by dog you mean a dragon that is having trouble getting back into his own body, then I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you. Oh, now that's my kind of dog. Why am I still using this method? Never mind. What progress have you? To make this as brief as possible, we found the Rod of Alignment and were able to put Vair back into his body for a little while. But there was a complication, and his soul had to come back into me. However, we learned that there's a significantly larger problem on the way. Apparently, Demogorgon has found a way to enter our world and is about to tear open a portal from the Abyss. The Demogorgon? The Demogorgon, as in the sibilant beast. As in the two-headed monstrosity that could single-handedly end any given city if he sneezed at the wrong time? Um, yes. Yeah, that's the one. You're joking. Uh -huh. No, not this time. Oh. <laughs> exactly promising news. Or I start preparing an escape portal to literally any other plane of existence where he is not. Well, we were hoping that you might know how to beat him, or at least be able to find out. Well, the obvious answer is to find a holy relic of commensurate power and kill him with it. However, there is a uh, few far between, even then often unbelievably difficult to get to. It could take months just to find one powerful enough, and then there is every chance that should you manage to claim it, whatever god blessed the relic in the first place will decide to be a jerk and withdraw their power from it just because they don't like how you butter your toast or something else equally arbitrary. We might not have that kind of time in the first place. Do you have any other ideas? Aside from running away, make a new one. Pardon? Make a new sacred weapon, or at least something that can emulate its sacred weapon's properties. That could take just as much time, though, so you would need master craftsmen and powerful enchanters to help you. Well, how good are the dwarven smiths of Mithril Hall? Some of the best in the world. If anything, the mithril they mine there would be a very valuable ingredient for the weapon. That is, if we could get any. Why? I think you two should talk. I'm probably just going to slow things down. 
Me? <laughs> um, <clears throat> hello, Sage Thessarai of Candlekeep? I am Fengir Girdin, a uh, wizard in charge of magical defenses and research in Mithril Hall. Katra handed the stone to me. Well, first, th I wanted to say that I am an ardent supporter of the Avowed and would give my beard to visit Candlekeep's libraries, but, uh, but, but perhaps we should, for now, focus on the approaching Demon Lord. Ah. Uh, hmm? Right. Uh-huh. I eagerly await your message. He wants to talk to you again. You two debated for ages. Hope that was worthwhile. It was. I'm not much of a craftsman myself, so Fengir's input is important. Still, even once I send the weapon schematics and inscriptions to him, the dwarves can only do so much. They are phenomenal builders and quite capable with magic, but we want the best we can get it. Have you ever heard of the moon? No. Should I have? Eh, maybe. It's near to Mithril Hall, and the elves there are rather skilled spell weavers. Even if they do not know how to create the necessary enchantment, they will know someone who can. I'll leave to find them right away. Good, but one last thing. Even with this item, I'm sorry to say that you're rather small, pathetic, and squishy against something like Demogorgon. Did you find that storm giant I directed you to? What happened to them? They had the rod like you said they would. And then that they would keep an eye on me, or something. Said they thought I'd be in the middle of important things. Well, you do seem to stick your nose where it doesn't belong, so that's apt. Tell me her name so that I can contact her. You will want some capable allies to join you in this fight. People or things that can hold their own against something strong enough to uproot trees and won't get in your way. Fireball. Her name is Nalkra, but she doesn't care about small folk problems. Well, maybe Nalkra will be willing to lend a hand in saving the world as we know it. Now excuse me, there is still work to do. So apparently, we could theoretically just kill Demogorgon if we were strong enough, which we're not, and send him back to the Abyss that way. Our best option now is to use a holy weapon. I could have told you that! Don't ask you! I'll be getting further instructions and specific schematics for how to make our own holy weapon soon. Once they're here, we have our work cut out for us. Understood. Find the best weaponsmiths and crafters that we have for this project. I am not about to spare expense or take chances when we are trying to kill the next best thing to a deity. Good. That took longer than I would have liked, but better than finding out later that our best defense against Demogorgon is flawed and about as useful as a pickaxe without a handle. Sword upgrade! This letter of introduction was signed and sealed by our king. Seek Fireball. Moon Lines, a settlement in the Moonwood. And give this to the elves in charge. It explains the situation and should secure you an enchanter. Now that the cult is no longer a threat, Mithril Hall's gates are opening again. You can get to the Moonwood by going alongside the mountain until you come to a ravine. The trees you'll see on the bridge's far side are your destination. Good luck, and be quick. What happened to the cool sword I just had? Why does my cape do that? Okay. But I want the blue sword back. Why did they give me a blue sword and then just take it from me? Well, that wasn't very nice of them. Like, hey, here, have this ultimate cool sword of power. And then they're just like, eh, not for you. Old monster. I unlock the ability to hold monsters. Oh, okay. That's good. Now I can hug animals. I have become an animal whisperer. Hmm. Who designs a front gate like this with a Q system? Monster, I tell you. A monster. You know, I forgot that we got here via cart. It's been so long. Onwards, we'd rush. Hey, cart man, take us where we need to go. I'm assuming we're loading to a new area. The Underdark's deep gloom made Mithril Hall's lighted cavern seem bright as day. Finally Little stepping out into the sunshine again after so long, the world is blinding. You squeeze your eyes shut, waiting for them to adjust, as you listen to the breeze drift over the mountain and feel it brush against you, enjoying the first fresh live air you have felt in what feels like years. When you can finally open your eyes again, the view down into the plains and the green forest makes you smile. 
and you're ready to swear never to go underground again as the surface world beckons. I have not been among elves in years. Chapter years. five. Dragons and elves have much We're only on chapter five? Oh my. But there has always been a tension between us ever since the war that saw the elves overthrow Dragonkind's rule. Wasn't that war over a thousand years ago? Some wounds run too deep. They will always remember what Yeah, I never got over the Crusades. Dragon. My kind will remember their actions in the war. These are pains that each of our children inherit, and we can only hope that the hurt fades just a little bit more with each generation. That's relatable. Anyhow, where do you think their leader is? They might not have a set leader, but I would guess that whoever is at the center of all things and looks the busiest is a good bet. Or you could always just ask around. It's that guy. Anyways, I gotta go to the bathroom, I guess, so here's the alpaca. I'll be back in a sec. Fireball. A human? I must say hmm. it has been some time since one of your kind ventured into our part of the forest. My name is Naivara, guardian of Moonvines. What brings I have come from Mithril Hall with an urgent message and a letter from the king. The king himself? That seems excessive. What is this message? Naivara's gentle expression turns stern as she reads. She begins examining the letter itself, the seal, the parchment it is on, and there is a flash of light around her eyes as she casts a spell during the investigation. Don't forget to like the stream and subscribe! When she is done, she looks at you with none of the levity that she greeted you with and hands the letter back. Hmm. We have had some strange creatures roaming the woods, but Demogorgon is another matter entirely. Forgive me, but I will have to verify this myself. Watch my body. I must step away for a moment. Ah! Oh, that... that was not pleasant. Nor exactly expected. All right then. Well, in that case, we have a problem on our hands aside from Demogorgon. You need a weapon powerful enough to harm a demon prince and seal him back in the abyss. Unfortunately, we simply lack the capabilities to make anything like that. Even well, what are we supposed to do then? Raise an army? 
set a trap? While both of those are decent backup options, I may know a way to gain the power needed for such an enchantment. Why can this never be simple? There is a temple deeper in these woods, one dedicated to the moon deity Selium. She has the best interests of mortals at heart, and her temple has been a site of blessings and great workings in the past. I have a nasty suspicion there's a nasty catch to this. Indeed, for the temple is guarded by a sphinx. Oh, that's she interesting. She's good natured and does enjoy the few visitors she gets. However, she also has a tendency to, well, she is a guardian as well as a judge. And if someone seeks the temple's power and she deems them unworthy, she tends to eat them. I think that's totally fair. That's it's a fair trade off. Encouraging, but I don't have much of a choice here. I'll try. Good luck. What excellent news. Not only is making the weapon we need to save Faerun more complicated than expected, we have to face a temperamental monster who may decide to kill you regardless of whether you pass her tests. Wonderful. Just be glad that the two of us can puzzle out her trials together. I hope you're good at riddles, Vair. I am not. While I have you here, would you be willing to investigate something for me? I will, of course, pay you for your services. No. Side quest? Pfft, ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this thing that says hold stuff to make an empty slot so that I could buy some health potions. Also, a speed potion? Why would I ever need that? How many coins do I need? Is there like an armor person? Oh, give me my sword upgrade. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the highest tier of armor we can get. Right? Let's see. Yeah, okay. Because I'm like, should I get the boots and stuff? But I'm also like, I don't think I have that much money left, so I should probably buy some health potions. And I'm taking the horse. Well, this is a lovely looking town. Very lovely indeed. Hmm. Real nice magical ambience to this, all I gotta say. What is that? Is that an owl bear? The side quest is the beholder in it? Oh, come on, man. Really? You're gonna make me do the beholder quest? Oh, come on. You couldn't have said that before I did all of this walking through the forest? Oh my god. This better not be a long quest. I have to come all the way back with the horse. To go do the beholder thing. The original Minecraft? I, I think Minecraft is still Minecraft. This is just an extension of it. I right, wait here, Spotty. What do you need investigated? The elves of Moonvines have reported seeing strangers in purple robes traveling through the woods, but avoiding other people. We have also noticed that the old abandoned fortress of Methegrist now has lights shining through its windows at night. Hopefully this is nothing to be alarmed about, but it would ease our minds if you could determine what is happening there. I can do that. I'll be back when I know more. Thank you. Be safe. Investigate the fortress. Hey, you and me, Spotty, let's do this. Whoop. Gonna be a long night, isn't it? The elves claim that this part of the forest touches the Feywild. Allowing some of that other world's strange magic to seep into our own. No one can say whether the trees come from the Feywild 
or whether the Feywild's influence transformed them. But either way, these crystalline trees grow like any other and produce fruit that the locals consider sacred. That cutscene hit me so hard it knocked me off my horse. Hi, right, Spotty. Wait out here. I gotta go kill a beholder. These robes look familiar. I cannot place them, but they do not wait, wait, wait. Did I get new XP to use sure. when I leveled here? Robes are what made you feel uncomfortable. Not the people who are trying to kill us. Well, yes, that too. I just want them to die faster. Fireball! I gotta say, you, you guys have genuinely put together an impressively long Minecraft map. I always expect these to be an hour or two long, so this is this is the most impressive thing I think I've seen out of the store so far. Bravo, guys. Yeah. I would say fix up that one puzzle spot and uh you know hash out some of the bugs but you've you've got a really well put together thing here very very impressive i expect a full sequel in six months <laughs> guys are lucky the fireball wasn't ready Vair, I think that these people are worshiping dragons. Oh dear, that is not good. Why? I mean, aside from their repeated attempts at murder. Dragon cults are almost always oriented toward the cruel, vain dragons of the world. Chromatic dragons often enjoy or demand worship and service, while we metallic dragons seldom make such demands. When a cult appears, it's simply because they have already pledged themselves to one dragon or another. Worst case scenario, one of these cults managed to bring Tiamat from her domain in the realm of devils. She was defeated before she could be fully established in Faerun. Close battle than even that shadow of her with the living cataclysm. Do you think they're trying to do the same thing here? I certainly have hope, but it is a possibility. Yeah, the buttons on the walls took me 15 minutes, and I had to have, I think it was Miguel was here, had to help me out and tell me what to do. A child is never going to be able to figure out what those buttons are. It's very awkward, I stood in a room for 15 minutes. Absolutely perplexed. <laughs> I, I do not understand the logic there. I was even clicking the buttons, which was funny. Yeah, I was actually clicking the buttons, but not realizing they were numbers. <laughs> Who are these guys? Oh, man. Wait, are these dragons? Fireball. Please, stop. I surrender. I Minecraft minion sequel? Yeah, we do. I made bank on Minecraft minions, dude. Absolute bank. They were fanatics, not me. I am sick of sacrificing and praying to something that isn't here. Hoping that a dragon will swoop out of the sky to save us from the demons or something. It seems ridiculous. Yet, here we are. The irony is painful. Then why join in the first place? Because I was scared. I wanted to be protected from the demons when they came, and this seemed my best option. Now, though, even if we survive the demons, the endless sacrifices, the violence, it cannot hold. So there is not even a dragon here that you serve? They were here for a few days, but then left and... I do not think they plan to return. 
they seem to be fleeing the invasion too. Katra, if I might make a suggestion, tell them about us and speak on my behalf. Tell them to find a dragon worthy of service and one that will protect them. There are more metallic dragons in the world than people realize, and most would welcome the company. Listen, this may be hard to believe, and sometimes I question it myself, but I have the soul of the noble golden dragon Endandravair living in my body. He says that you should all go out and find an actual dragon to serve. Better yet, find one that actually cares about you and reciprocates your affection and efforts. <laughs> That's deep. <laughs> find, find one that cares about you and reciprocates your affection and efforts. Come on, Minecraft. I don't, I don't come here for these deep emotional <laughs> details. Indeed. Especially if you really insist on this worship nonsense. Yes, we are vain and awe-inspiring shards of elemental and divine power, but we are not actually gods. The ones who want you to think that they are gods are just the dragons that will betray or use and abandon you. He says that any dragon who wants you to worship them as an actual god is the kind that will just stab you in the back when it suits them. He said it in more elaborate terms than that, but I honestly don't enjoy being his mouthpiece. And how do we know that you've actually got a dragon inside you? This sounds particularly suspicious to me. I... uh... Is there anything we can do to prove it to them? Not that I can think of. I think you'll just have to take my word on it. Unless you want to start quizzing me on dragon lore or something else you might know. No, I don't think I will. I do have a test in mind, though. I have a bad feeling about this one. Even if I were to cast a detection spell on you, the results won't tell me much. You could just be descended from a dragon, or blessed by one, or something else like that to give you a draconic aura. However... There is said to be an artifact nearby, one that only functions for true dragons, an orb activated by their essence. Part of why we came here was to help our Dark Lord to find it. He said that many older dragons have an idea of where to find it. If you really have a dragon whispering in your ear, have him lead the way, bring back the orb and activate it. That actually seems like something we could accomplish. I do remember something about a dragon eye all being kept in this forest. Well, if not, we have no reason to listen to you, even if we cannot overpower you. We accept. We will show you a better way. Just wait for us to return. <laughs> of course. I will keep things calm here as best I can, and make sure that there are no ambushes or other traps set for you when you come back. Be quick, though. Some of these people are far from the patient type. The movie? <laughs> Actually, I really liked the, the, the Dungeons & Dragons movie. It was a lot of fun. It wasn't, like, amazing or anything, but it was actually a fun movie. Fireball. The Q baby guys. The cube actually ate me. It wasn't doing that earlier. That's hilarious. The sun appears to be shining Nothing in the spot. Happens in a unicorn's forest that the unicorn is unaware of. Do I get a unicorn Master to ride? Ever woodland they are set to unicorn? Protect. Unicorns have some control over their forests too. 
They use that influence in the park to create hidden places like these, where they and other animals can come to rest without fear of intruders or violence. Do I get to eat the unicorn? Well, this looks like a really heavenly spot. Okay, what's happening? Oh, <gasps> it's a unicorn! Fireball! Can I ride the unicorn? Am I supposed to do something with the unicorn? Fireball! Do I... I'm going back from once I came? Okay, well, we found a unicorn. I don't even know if we were supposed to go over here? Was that like a test? I, I don't understand. What was... what were we doing? What? Am I supposed to fight these things again? Where am I going? Do I have to fight all the monsters again, or do I go into the cave, or...? No? Do I report this back to the lady? Or something? Where am I going and what am I doing? Okay, so that's there. I kind of want to see the menu so that I know what the goal is. What am I doing? Okay, there's the unicorn. I was promised to be holder. Okay, so there's a unicorn. Yeah, no, I keep getting a white screen. Do I wander this way then, across the bridge? That's on the trees, so... Oh. Hmm, hmm. Are the unicorns even part of what this is? Red layers of smoke, which I don't see anywhere. I already killed these things. Okay, there's yellow star things. Is there like a red smoke thing anywhere? I've killed this thing twice now. And this thing just has to go here. Okay, so gold stuff. I don't see any red smoke anywhere. Then I killed these guys and they're here again. And then the red smoke took me over this way. And then there's nothing. Oh, there we go. That's the red smoke. Why did we have a unicorn? What did the unicorns have to do with this quest? Okay, I found the red clouds. So is killing them part of this or what? Aw. Oh. Where is the other red? Oh, the red cloud is over there. Okay, interesting. Ah, oh, we're hot on the trail here. There we go. The unicorn isn't part of it, but it just sure seemed like the unicorn was part of it. Wait, Katra, the orb. It 
should have been left on that pedestal. Barring that, I should have sensed it as we came closer. Hmm. Well, what do we do now? Ask the ogre? Seem we get people to like the stream and subscribe if they haven't already. Human. You have gold? Are there shiny things? Need more treasure. Master, turn us to stone or eat us if don't have. Actually, I was wondering if you or your friends have seen a black ball around here. Looks kind of glassy. So, you give treasure. That sword shiny. Give us sword, maybe I tell you. I can't give you this sword. We need it for a greater battle. And it cost me a lot of money. Say nothing, we take sword. Okay, I'll just make you tell me. But don't blame me when you get hurt. You did this to yourself. You have done this to yourself. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. You underestimate my blade. Just a peaceful day of chopping up goblins. Off with his head. Fireball. This cave has been pretty well stripped, and I doubt there are any hidden chambers if the orb was out here. And where is your master? In the treehouse. Lots of bridges. Master live there. Alright. Thank you for the information. Seems we will have to pay this master a visit and introduce ourselves. Retrieve the orb. Very well. So now we have to go to a treehouse. I wish I hadn't left my horse behind. Okay, so if I was a treehouse, where would I be? Yeah, my horse isn't there anymore. Spotty has been... Spotty's gone, guys. Spotty's gone missing. I always lose my horse in this. If only there were conveniently placed stables all around that we could take advantage of. Let me guess, this isn't the way there and I have to like go around somewhere or something? Can I climb this stuff? No, no, we can get around here. Okay, good. Something about this puts me at ease. Nobody's talking to me? I have to read this myself? All manner of creatures come to drink here or rest on the banks. Though peace in the natural world is short-lived, and soon enough, the visitors must re leave to re-enter the dangerous wilderness. The Lake of Soothing. Remember when it used to take forever to get places in Minecraft? I am stuck in something. I'm dying. Okay, I'm died. Oh, right. That's great. I'm all the way back here? Are you kidding me? What? Why? Now I have to walk all the way over there again. Uh. No, come on. Why? I gotta walk all the way back, cause somehow I got stuck in the water and died, and my checkpoint is all the way back here. There's a werebear. Owlbear? Owlbear, that's what that is. That's an owlbear. Werebear. 
I'm like a werewolf bear. This is a long side quest. I just want to fight a beholder. I'm still like on chapter five. Oh god, this is gonna take forever. Whether these outlandish mushrooms are the product of the Feywild's influence, or whether they are simply one of this world's voice over this time, guys. is unknown. What is known, though, is that while various animals graze on these mushrooms, you most certainly should not. The results would be unsettling. Mm. Poison being the least of your concerns. This beholder better be cool for cats. Oh, regeneration potions. Awesome. That's that's great. Are you serious? Why can these things climb? That's because Xbox takes away all the fun features. Hmm, okay, how do I get up this tree? Beholder, are you up in this tree? Fireball. Oh, I'm supposed to go in here, okay. Find the orb. Fireball. Oh, there's all these ogres and stuff. Hmm, starting to feel a sense of hostility from these local creatures in this tree. You know, from the outside, the tree doesn't look this large, but once you get in here, yeah, there's a lot of enemies. Magical smite. Emulation. Looks like his punishment must have been more severe. There it is! That's what we were looking for! The games will have to end here. As you've proven yourself a capable fighter, 
I offer you a deal. Work for me as my lieutenant and bask in my glory. Okay. Help me to build an army that we might claim these woods and the surrounding lands from the rest of your lowly and ignorant race. You will be respected and feared as a servant of Gotsak. Ooh, cool. What's the alternative? I am in a generous mood, so I would give you a choice of how you wish to die. Would you prefer disintegration, petrification, having the life sucked out of you? You like the life gets sucked out of me every day. All beholders are self-centered, Gatra. You may be able to use that to your advantage. Though he might likewise try to trick you. Just know that he will never give up his treasure or do anything that does not benefit him. I'm not a big fan of any of those options. So I think I'll just fight you and take what I want instead. Did you really have to announce that to him? Then you are doomed. Fireball. Oh, for f Really, Minecraft? Yeah, he does seem like a good guy to work for. What are you talking about? We always do Minecraft streams like this. The camels jump. Horizontally. Bob heads make sounds. Try them out on the note blocks. The alley loves to collect items. If you give it a certain item, it will try to collect more of it. Gold is most common in Nether and the Badlands biomes. Trade with villagers to obtain food, tools, and other resources. Loading ticking areas. Building terrain. Loading resources. Loading resources. This took 20 minutes last time, so I think we're out for a bit of an improvement. Possibly. Do you guys want some entertainment while we're doing this? Oh, we're back. My controller has lost connection. I am in a generous so I would give you a choice of how you wish to die. Would you prefer disintegration? Petrification? Having the life sucked out of you? Or should I simply eat you? I might even put you to sleep first as a final mercy, if you beg. All beholders are self-centered, Katra. You may be able to use that to your advantage, though he might likewise try to trick you. Just know that he will never give up his treasure or do anything that does not benefit him. I'm not a big fan of any of those options, so I think I'll just fight you and take what I want instead. Did you really have to announce that to him? Then you are doomed. Fireball. There's multiple beholders? You know, I was going to joke earlier where I'm like, there better be two beholders for all this work involved. Why isn't my health thing working? My health thing is broken. Okay, my health broke. That's great. Taste my divinity.
These guys sure take a lot of damage. Fireball. Maybe we don't have like a bow and arrow, that would be an interesting mix up. Sucks to suck, beholder. A genuine dragon orb eye. It allows a dragon to contact anyone else who possesses these orbs, no matter where they are in the multiverse. The multiverse? Oh my god, even this has multiverses in it? Small folk overthrew my kind thousands of years ago. I suppose we had little use for them once dragons became more solitary creatures after the Empire's collapse. Well, it sounds like the cultists wouldn't be able to use it for anything on their own, then. Let's just get it back and get this over with. It's like you should get back and get over it with more of your likes on the stream and subscribing is great as well. They must take the way. <laughs> wow, that could actually like launch me well into the distance I needed to be. Yeah, those beholders were uh, were a bit tricky, some might say. I really wish I had my horse. There's never a horse when you need one. Anyways, let's go give these dragonborn cultists their orb. Good thing we stopped at that chest and got those uh, regening health kind of potions, otherwise we would have been toast. Yeah. That's where our actual quest is, but we took this long side quest. Hey, at least I got side quests where you got to fight a beholder. I am glad I got that mentioned, otherwise I would have straight up skipped it. Owl bear. Ow. Bear. Unused stat points? Do I? I thought I used them all, like, literally not even that long ago. I have two. Not that much, but okay. Good, you're back. You're welcome. I've been getting restless, and the one who spoke against you earlier has been taking advantage of that to rock the boat. I don't know how much longer I could have convinced them to wait for you. You have fireball. Yes. I have returned with the orb, as you demanded. Have you now? Well then, give it here. Let us see if it is real. Mm -mm, not to you. We will let a more neutral person identify it. You, you do the honors. Let me see that. Come on, work! You know that only a dragon can use it. You said so yourself. Then let us have your new savior try their hand at it, shall we? Since they are secretly a dragon and all that. Well, go on then. This is going to take a moment. Now, let's see. Who do I know even has one of these things anymore? Ah, Isolvindra should work. She's not the type to hunt us down simply for disturbing her nap, unlike some others I know. Interesting. I have not seen this artifact come to life in over a century. Who calls to me? Well, go on. Say something. They have so many voices in this game and they didn't even ask me to come in and do a cameo. Unbelievable. I go <laughs> to the dragon and Dandravair. He sends his greetings and wishes to know if all is well. And Dandravair, that stuffy stick in the mud. 
Well, that is a surprise, though a pleasant one. Tell him that there is trouble in my territory, as an abundance of demons have begun appearing, though I cannot say from where or how. Fool! That you would try to steal my own faithful away from me? The earth is of you mortals. My ear? What happened? Who are we talking to? Ah, now I remember why we stopped using them. Aside from the fact that most of us do not enjoy working together, Bahamut and Tiamat also had a nasty habit of eavesdropping on our conversations and sometimes hijacking the orbs. I will give you one guess as to which one of them is using the orb now. As this disloyal collection of worms seems to need a demonstration of my superiority, I grant my favor to the one who remains steadfast. Man, they got tons of voice actors in this, dude. This is like the fifth chapter or something. There's, there's been all kinds of people in this. My divine ladies will be done. Defeat the favorite cultist? What? This is supposed to be a friendly place. I thought this was a friendly area. <laughs> what was this? What the? <laughs> what? <laughs> Dark Souls. How are you not dead yet? Quick, Katra, repeat after me. Behold, Behold there, there is, is your proof. proof. Even Tiamat herself either cannot grant, grant the power to protect you, or, or she, she simply does, does not care, care enough to preserve you. Otherwise, this man would have been unbeatable. Search for a worthy savior elsewhere. But what? I did not think that you could win. When Tiamat intervened, I thought that the both of us, we would be. Does Endandravir grant you Fireball. power? Did he give you something that you could overcome one who was empowered by a deity? No. My strength is my own. Oh. S still, even though you have proven your point, we do not have anywhere to go or anyone to guide or protect us from the tide of demons. I fear for our future. Katra, if you could suggest something for me. Shidin. Endandravir asked me to tell you that you should seek his home in the Cloud Peaks. He shall be restored to his body soon, and regardless of whether he does so by fighting demons here or at my home, he promises to do his best to protect you. Provided that you are willing to give up worshipping evil dragons, that is. Personally, I'd also suggest tidying up his lair and protecting it until he returns, as a way of thanking him. That seems more than fair. Yes. Yes, I will do that. Do you hear that? And then Dravair will return, and he promises to bring us under his wing, so long as we are willing to abide by his ways. The journey to the south shall be my pilgrimage and penance for the wrongs I have committed in Tiamat's name, and I will dedicate myself to my new lord's teachings. Anyone else who will do the same is welcome, and I would be glad for the company. I suppose I should thank you for this. It will be a long and particularly dangerous road, but it is one that I can walk with my head held high, knowing that I am doing better things. Good luck, Shidin. And Andravair will be back shortly to meet you. I promise. Thank you and good luck. Did you really mean that? You'll protect them when you get your body back? 
Well, I figured that I might as well keep some staff around to help me here and there. <laughs> some staff and around. Protection will be one of their employee privileges, let's just say. You're going soft on me. I fail to see how keeping a group of butlers who worship me is any form of weakness. <laughs> sure. Let me guess, I have to walk back and finish the quest off by handing it in, right? No? We don't have to hand the quest in? That's weird. Alright, well I guess that was completed. Hmm. Very well. Let us continue with the main quest. From that slight diversion that took an extra... How long was that? Like an hour or a bit? Jeez. Alright, onwards. That looks like where we might find the gynosphinx. The what? Gynosphinx. It's the word for a female... Oh, never mind. Just keep your eyes and ears shut, lest she ambush us. Ooh! I guess we don't need to worry about her sneaking up on us. Hello there! Haven't had a visitor in a while. My name is Sunamati. I'm the guardian of this temple and so pleased to make your acquaintance. Who might you be? My name's Katra. I've come to ask for your help. Of course. That's all anyone ever wants of me in this place. Never mind that I might want some company on occasion. Has no one considered paying a visit just to say hi? Well... You do have a reputation for eating your guests? <laughs> Only those that deserved it. Can't blame me for getting rid of bad house guests. Uh, all right then. What is it that you want? Faerun is about to be invaded by an army of demons led by Demogorgon. Oh, yes. Heard about that through the grapevine. <laughs> Nasty business. Uh, and... Uh, uh, we had hoped that you might be willing to help us get the Moon Maiden's blessing to empower a weapon with the magic and strength to send Demogorgon back into the abyss. Oh, well that's a reasonable and noble request. Perhaps I won't eat you right away. I am rather peckish, but I can wait to hunt or until you mess up my trials. No chance that you're willing to help just because the land is in peril and both you and your goddess don't want to see us all perish in flame and madness? <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. No chance at all. Nice try, though. Okay, then. So, what are the trials? What do I have to do? First, you must answer my riddle. I have cities, but no houses. And I have forests, but no trees. I have oceans and ponds and streams, but no fish. Or at hmm. least so it seems. What am I? I have cities, but no houses. I have forests, but no trees. I have oceans and ponds, but no and streams, but no fish. A map? A map? Oh, excellent! Mm. I rather like that one and never had a chance to ask it. I'm so glad you figured it out. Me too. I've been wanting to ask that one for going on 32 years now, I think. 32 years. As much as I would love to continue with riddles in other games. Oh, when I have so many word games we could play. It seems we're on a bit of a tight schedule. Wait, that wasn't part of the trial? <laughs> Heavens above, no. I can tell that your request is honest. The Moon Maiden allows me to see into the hearts of others. However... I do need to test whether you are responsible and of a sturdy spirit. Oh, can you imagine how terrible riddles would be as a test of worth? The most despicable villain or a complete nincompoop could walk in here, answer a few word games, and walk off with phenomenal cosmic power. Huh, not on my watch. That's strangely logical. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. No, instead we test the soul. Both of yours, in this case. Excuse me? Oh yes, I can see both of you in there. Well, I've never seen a dragon soul and a human's all crammed into a tiny container like that before. Looks uncomfortable. It Anyhow, is. when you are ready, look deep into my eyes and the trial will begin. Oh, and keep in mind that I will eat you if you fail. That part of the stories is true. Hmm. How encouraging. 
You may not be the same person when you walk out. Okay. I think I need some time for All righty. Point of no return. Okay, well I'm I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do the point of no return. Why why can't I what? I wanna f I want yeah. Yeah, I'm ready to start the trials. I think I need some time first. I'll be back. All right. What? Unfinished I don't have unfinished business. I wanna finish this. Why can't I just finish this? What? Unfinished business. I have no unfinished business. Goodbyes. What? Yeah, no, I'm I'm ready to do this. Why can't I do this? Start the trials. I think I need some All righty. Who what? Once you finish that you will not be the same person. Yeah, okay. I want to go and finish this. Why can't I finish this? Start the trials. Once you finish the trials, you know, this could be your last chance. I have no unfinished business. What? Let me finish this. Am I- I'm clicking the wrong button? Okay, well, isn't dark highlighted? Which one is highlighted and which one isn't highlighted? I'm ready. Begin the That's what highlighting is? Oh, okay. Now, look into my eyes. Jeez. Oh, right. Forgot to mention that there is a bit of a cleverness test involved here, but I'm sure you'll breeze through it. Oh, and the things you'll see. They aren't real per se, but they are true. Not real, but true. That's not helpful. I think being vague and unhelpful is part of the territory for Sphinxes. Regardless, we should begin. Got it. Your miserable war has persisted for long enough. I Ooh. have destroyed the petty tyrants who insisted on continuing this conflict. You will agree to peace and uphold it. If you do not, then I will. Well, that's pretty scary. What was that? That was one of the first times I forged peace between two warring cities when I was a young dragon. They live amicably as neighbors now. Oh, okay, that's good. You have to start killing people to accomplish that? The rulers were greedy, and they tricked the common people into wanting the war, stoking their hatred and bitterness. It was the most expedient solution, even if it meant enforcing the law myself and living there for a decade or so. Huh. It sounds kind of like you just replaced two tyrants and became one yourself. Ooh. Perhaps, but it was for the sake of the people. Sure. Okay. Starting to think this good dragon ain't always ain't so good. Oh, I thought that would work differently than it did. Ah, there. 
I mean, it kind of works, and then it kind of doesn't. There we go. Got it. Please, why will you not help us? You are our best hope at stopping the Black Dragon. Your concerns are not mine. It is not my place to interfere in your affairs, nor those of other dragons. Now leave. I do not like being bothered. But many of us will die if we fight him, and if we surrender, others will die still as he treats us like livestock. If you do not want to be treated like cattle, do not act like cattle. I will not warn you again to leave. Well, that's not very nice. Sounds like a mean dragon. <laughs> the city's burning in the background. A dragon by themselves? Heroes eager to slay dragons appear around every tree and hill. If they could not defend themselves, some mercenary or adventurer would come and rescue them. And did they beat the dragon? No, but as expected, a group of cell swords came and freed them of the black dragon after a year or so. After <laughs> a year or so? But you could have saved lives. You could have prevented them from living in fear and oppression. And you guys could have liked the stream and subscribed, am I right? Am I right? It was not my place. They needed to learn to defend themselves and how to establish themselves in the natural order of the world. Then why did you get involved uh -huh. in, the city in the first memory you saw? Like I said, I was a young dragon, idealistic. It was not hmm. until later that I realized what a colossal waste of time playing peacekeeper had been. One city would have conquered the other, or they would have made peace once fighting became unsustainable. But they didn't fight. You kept them from fighting, and while I'm not sure I like how you did it, you saved lives, kept people from dying. And I kept the cities from growing. The people in those cities might have developed new medicines or machines or other ways to approach diplomacy. All creatures learn and grow from conflict. Assuming they survived the conflict in the first place. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so what are we dealing with here? Okay. All right. Uh huh. That's not even. I don't even think that's a lake that you're. You've got a picture of me there, fillet. Is that? That's, I think that's just a river. Darkness is not on my mind. It is my own. So many the darkness destroy them. Oh. I think this dragon's just been using us this whole time. That wasn't an accident. He's a liar. We should kill this dragon in our head. You chose to make me see that horrible vision. The one the masked man put in your head. Oh. You told me it was an accident. I, I was not thinking clearly. You knew that it would hurt me. C could shatter my mind. And you did it anyway. I'm so afraid and in so much pain, Katra. I'm sorry, but I thought the two of us so But what? But you're not as important as I am? But you didn't need a say in this. You didn't even think to ask before you decided to risk my life, my sanity. I said that I was not thinking clearly. Really? What I saw seemed clear enough. That wasn't just selfish and dangerous, Vair. I came to help you when I could have left you in the caverns to die. And you forced me to see something that even you couldn't handle. <gasps> I thought that you could handle it. 
with the both of us sharing oh really because you sounded pretty uncertain in that memory and i heard a few solid arguments about keeping that nightmare to yourself instead you decided to dump it on me without warning i still get headaches when i remember that and i'm probably going to have nightmares of that thing you showed me for years damn i said that i am sorry what more do you want from me I want you to be quiet, okay? J just for a little bit. Let me pretend at least for a little while that I don't have some invader in my head that's just using me for their own ends. Just leave me alone for a bit. As you wish. That was certainly dramatic, but I think that I've seen enough. So are you going to eat me, or what? No, no, you may have the blessing of my lady. Good. Where can we do this? I want to get everything over with. Bring the craftsmen and anything else you may need back to this altar tonight. We shall grant you Selune's power under the light of her moon. Ooh. Cinema. This has been quite the journey, I gotta say. Here is your weapon. The tool that will send the <gasps> organ back to his smoking. That's what I'm talking about. The moon's bite. They have the ability to make Close. it so you can admire weapons in Minecraft. I have enchanted many blades and oddities over the centuries. This one I shall remember keenly, though I should warn you. The enchantment is powerful, yes, but it is impermanent. It seems that Selyun was only willing to temporarily grant her favor. The enchantment should last through your contest against Demogorgon. After that, I cannot say for how long it will remain. It seems that the Moon Maiden either does not trust us, or that she is simply careful about the powers she lets into our world. I can hmm. respect that. Right, because it's not your place to interfere unless you feel like it. I remember. Oh! If you have any business to attend, do so quickly. No, I'm here to fight! Otherwise, make for Mithril Hall, where your allies have gathered. Master the Chief is ready to save the day. Vair. Katra? I would have done it, you know. Done what? I would have taken on the vision of Demogorgon with you, if you'd asked. If I'd known the risks, I still would have done it to help you. But you made that choice for me instead. Ooh. I shared something, you know? I thought that even more than sharing my body for so long, suffering that terrifying, mind-breaking experience together was... It felt like we'd grown together. I thought it was a sign that we were there for each other, that we could lean on each other to get through something like that. People are always out to betray you, Catra. But you didn't trust me. You didn't share anything with me. You took away my decision and used me. I was just a means to an end, and in the moment, that's all that mattered to you. You were more important. Oh. Catra, I am sorry. I truly am. I don't think he... I don't think he is. Really? Every time you say that, I can't tell whether you're trying to convince me that you regretted what you did, or whether you're trying to convince yourself. You got what you wanted. How sorry can you really be? Ho oh. ho! mistake in the spur of the moment, and I regret what it has caused. Do we get to choose to kill the dragon at the end? Because I want to go with that. Who has to live with the consequences. Hmm. Can you just fast travel me back to the base? No, I gotta walk. Okay. And I ran. I ran so far away. Couldn't get away. I think we're getting towards the final battle. I can't tell anymore. I've been fighting for so long. Owlbear! 
It would be really cool as if each of these packs came with its own set of achievements that you could earn. That would be pretty awesome, wouldn't it? It kind of like Dead by Daylight does, where it's like every pack has like a handful of new achievements. Although that would make earning the Minecraft achievements overall very or nigh impossible to do. Hmm. But it would be interesting to earn gamer score for doing stuff like this. Even if it had like a hundred of its own gamer score, you could be like, oh, I did this in this pack and stuff. Yeah, that'd actually be kind of interesting. Kind of interesting indeed. Oh, is he actually going to take me home? Well, I mean, it's going to save me like two feet of walking, but sure. Despite the looming demonic Chapter demonic six. This is it, guys. Seems little different than it was the last time you visited. Then again, considering that they were on high alert due to star spawn back then, perhaps a state of emergency simply never ended for them. The sense of tension among the bustling industrious dwarfs certainly has not diminished at least. New gloss? What do you, what do you mean they unlock new glossary terms? Oh, fighting the creatures? Uh... I had heard you were returning. Was your mission successful? Do you have the weapon? Yes. Though its enchantment will only last long enough to send Demogorgon back to the Abyss. Hmm, a shame. I'd hope to study or keep it for emergencies. Still, it is what we need for this emergency, and we could be thankful for that. But that's not why I came to see you. I found you to tell you that Endondravayur's mind is both healed and warded against the psychic damage that the Star Spawn's vision could inflict. If you two are ready, it should be safe to attempt transferring Endondravayur's soul back to his body. Actually, I want this dragon to die. my head with him anyhow. If that is how you feel, then yes, we should do this sooner rather than later. Right. Well, I cannot say as I blame you. Come to the arena when you're both ready. Go to the arena. And this is my last chance to buy some new threads. There we go. I got the health potions. I'm ready to fight. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. This actually looks really cinematic with the dragon here. The Game of Thrones type thing. Are you gonna do this? No, considering what happened last time, but we should do it anyway, and soon, please. Let's get on with it, guys. Then use the rod whenever you like. Whoa. The power of the rod compels you. Well, you alive? Did it work? Mm. Yes, I can still remember the vision, but it is no longer painful and thinking on it does not threaten to bend my mind until it snaps. Well, at least that makes one of us. Cool. I am even weaker than before, though. Or rather, my body will not move as I command it to. We were afraid that might happen. Whenever something influences the mind, it could affect the body, too. It, it may be some time before your coordination returns, though the impediment should be temporary. At least you've got your body back? Yes. Will you help us fight Demogorgon? I do not think that would be a good idea. If my body will not cooperate, I will probably just get in your way. Right. Of course. How should we prepare for this fight? Beyond what you've already done? Well, that's up to you. Though you should visit the keep before you go. It seems that you have some friends who have come to us in our time of need. Granted, they have a stake in this too, but it is heartening to see such formidable figures standing against the darkness. The spellcaster there will be able to tell you more about our battle plans. Oh, good. I was wondering if anyone would come. Having their help is reassuring. I suppose this is goodbye, then. Only if you do not make it back. I believe that you will. Fireball! I'll just, um, see you then, I guess. Right. Well, until then. 
Magical sword. Magical sword. Has he got a nice sound to it? That's all right. Ha, there you are. I was wondering if you would show up. We need our secret weapon and all that if we're going to survive long enough to see supper. True. But if I'm being honest, I didn't expect to see you here. Yes, well, for all my talk of running away, I rather like this world. Besides, I'm stubborn. Not about to let some quite literally two-faced demon scare me into abandoning Candlekeep. You'll owe me a favor after this, though. How about we consider me being the one to send Demogorgon back to the Abyss as that favor? Ooh. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyhow, tell me when you're ready to go, and I will bring us to the battlefield. I'm ready when everyone else is. Let's go. Well, speaking for myself, I'll never be ready, but we do what we must, no? Hope teleportation doesn't make you queasy. We're teleporting to the battlefield? Ooh. This looks like a good place to die hard with a vengeance. He's coming. Get ready. Uh, thought we would have more like allies and cannon fodder to throw into the mix and none of the door is coming. Well that's genuinely terrifying. We have not seen this in quite some time. Not since our imprisonment in Watcher's Keep on you. I would not count that dungeon as the surface. And I have lost track of how many centuries have passed since we last saw Green, or felt the material world stone beneath our talents. You forget the Underdark, Arthradia. And that arrogant drow sorcerer who allowed us through to his city. <sighs> Such a brief journey. And without even a glimpse of sunlight. The battle, though. <sighs> yes. And the destruction. You do not look like you could provide such entertainment, even all together. Indeed not. Rather than die here, you would be better served in joining us. We will spare you if you all join us. Oh, would you well, that sounds like a good offering. Die? We could even provide some options. Crushed in our arms. Torn apart by our claws. Eaten for our delights. Oh, that last one does sound good, Arthuradia. Do choose that one. How about instead you just go back to the abyss where you came from? Or lie down and let us slay you if you need some help getting home? We won't even charge you for the trip. Ah, we tried, Amel. So we did. And how reasonable we were. Yes. At least this way, we do not have to wait before we start the killing. You shall all suffer. Why am I zoomed in so much in slow motion? Ah, oh, there we go. No one else on my team is helping me fight. It's just me. like knocked me off the cliff why is there not a barrier to prevent me from falling down here okay um do i just like fall down to my death or how do i get back up are you kidding me okay i guess i gotta kill myself with the menu because i'm assuming i'm not gonna be able to get back up there okay i think they have this option And it respawns me down in the middle of the cave. I don't know why there's a checkpoint where I'm down in the middle of a cave while I'm trying to fight a big boss, but all right. Oh, do I have to sit here and listen to this thing spiel again? Oh my, Greg, you gotta be kidding me. Why is there a giant cliff that you fall off of? Oh no, no, okay, we're going right into the battle. No, I need my health potion. No, my health potion's in the cutscene! Oh no, we do have to listen to this thing spiel again? Oh my god, okay. 
What is this? Oh, now I've accidentally opened the menu thing. Okay, there we go. I would not count that dungeon as the surface. Then I have lost track of Why isn't there a barrier preventing you from falling into a water area where you can't die? Seems like quite an oversight. You forget the underdark, Arthradia. And that arrogant drow sorcerer who allowed us through to his city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Why isn't there should be like a skip audio option? The battle. Even all together. Indeed. <sighs> Rather than die here, you would be better served in joining us. We will spare you if you all join us. Or would you simply prefer to die? Hmm. We could even provide some options. Crushed in our arms. Torn apart by our claws. Eaten for our delight. Oh, that last one does sound good, Arthradia. Do choose. How about instead you just go back to the abyss where you came from? Or lie down and let us slay you if you need some help getting home? We won't even charge you for the trip! Ah, we tried, Amelwood. So we did. And how reasonable we were. Yes, at least this way we do not have to wait before we start the killing. Okay, here we go. You shall all suffer in the abyss! I wish I had used those skill points. I'm not really sure what this spell does, but here goes nothing. Are you using an untested skill? I was a playtester to a degree. You're very right. I'm also infamous for breaking demos at E3 and CES events. <laughs> and hopefully infamous for getting more likes on the stream and subscriptions of people subscribing. Don't forget to do that as well. Critical. This is a really intense fight, but I don't know why I'm so zoomed in right now. Crit 20, yo, still rolling high. By the grace of the Lune, I shall slay thee. Man, those black bars drive me crazy. I'm so far back and it's in slow-mo and I don't understand why. For 
prepare for the end of all things. For oblivion! It's over. He killed me. I have failed. I fought validly. Oh, it's our dragon friend coming into end things. He's literally stealing my kill. That's That makes me sad. I can't believe the dragon came and stole my kill after I did all that work. What a guy. Fireball! No, not yet. We only just arrived. Curse you! We will find our way back when we do. We will find you. And your descendants. See you next time, Demigorgon. We did it. We saved the day. Even though I gotta say it was mostly me getting this done. Uh, well, I think I've had enough of these ruins. How about everyone else? Right then, just a moment. We're saving one last teleport in case everything went pear-shaped. I was tempted to use it a couple of times there. There was potions over here? Okay, maybe every time one of his heads looked my way, but no matter. Oh, you've potions you could buy, that's funny. Well, we did it. I would say it has been a pleasure, but I will be having nightmares about that for probably the rest of my life. Still, I am glad that I could be of aid. Just, uh, please don't ask me to do anything like this ever again, all right? Have a good life, everyone. While I would not shy away from another such battle if the need arose, I otherwise share the wizard's sympathies. That will be burned into my mind for the rest of my days. That being said, I was right about you, and I still feel that you have an interesting life ahead. Perhaps we shall cross paths again. Who but the oracles and divines can say? Farewell, Katra. Wait, what? Everyone's leaving already? I wanted to see if anyone wanted to keep in touch. Maybe write each other. I could use a pen pal. Well, if someone willing to deliver the letters anyhow, I guess. Well, maybe I can get the elves to come visit me sometimes, and I promise not to eat them too often. Don't you be a stranger either, all right? Now that you've passed the trial, I'm not even allowed to eat you. So I won't hear any excuses about why you didn't stop by if I meet your soul in the afterlife a century from now. Take care. Toodaloo. And you, Scarecrow, I'll miss you most of all. Fireball. Came after all. Hmm. Why? Do you really not know? Well, not really, since we're not sharing my head anymore. Hmm. This is my world too, child. The affairs of small folk and those of dragons are one thing. The end of all creation at the hands of a demon is another entirely. So, what will you do now? Demogorgon was not the only demon to come through the rift today. I imagine that many will be rising from the Underdark in the coming months, along with those who found other places in Faerun where the borders between worlds thinned. I will seek out my contacts, old friends, and allies to spread word of the danger. I have been away too long as it is, and should check on them. But I will come back. You will hear from me, and perhaps when you have had enough adventure, I can find wherever you have settled and keep an eye on you too. Great, a dragon stalker. In case you ever need someone to talk to, at least. As Bayer looks at you, waiting for your answer, you remember everything that you have experienced together, all that you have endured as a pair. I want him to be punished. But you also cannot help remembering how hurt you felt, how betrayed, when you learned of Vayer's choice to endanger you. Still watching, Endan Dravair awaits your answer. The next thing you say will determine your relationship. I need time. I need time and space for myself. I don't think I can handle having this sort of relationship right now. <laughs> but you're... I... I'm sorry. 
But it's just that so much has happened. I've seen so much, and not all of it was great, and I think you'll always just remind me of things that maybe I'd be better off forgetting. I still haven't even figured out who you are. After the things the Sphinx showed me. I think... I think I just need a bit of time to myself. Especially after sharing our thoughts for so long. I bet you're a bit sick of me too at this point. <laughs> Perhaps you are right. After all of this, I still need to determine who I am and who I want to be. What my role in this world should be. Some time apart may not be such a bad idea, and I cannot blame you for wanting that. Still, I will come to check on you eventually. If you still do not want me around, I will understand. But I want you to know that I will always be your friend. If you decide that is what you want. Okay. Thank you for understanding, Vyder. Of course. Take care, little one. We will meet again. That sounds like a bit of a threat. Maybe... Maybe one day. But not now. Why didn't we get to kill the dragon? I wanted to stab it. The end. Dungeons and Dragons by Everbloom Games. I gotta say, the voice performance from Catra was, was very good throughout this game. Very, very well done. Alright, anyways, I guess we should do my review thoughts on this bad boy. Uh, this is probably the most impressive Minecraft marketplace map I have ever seen. It was lengthy, it was extensive, it captured the lore and style of Dungeons and Dragons, you get a selection of skins to use, uh, there's very well designed characters and individuals that you meet along the way, it has some fun surprises, some side quests, there's some exciting adventures and whatnot that you can enjoy while you're playing. There were a couple bugs here or there, but they're not too bad because they actually give you the option to reset things, which is quite nice. I will say, though, that that one puzzle in the jail was... I don't know if the younger audience is going to be able to do that one or figure that out because everything blends in. But other than that, pretty well done. Cool battles, cool conflicts. Uh, very extensive, like literally several hours or more. And uh, yeah, that was definitely a worthwhile experience. Like I said, very, very impressive. Like, just aesthetically nailed it. And uh, it's going to set the standard for other Minecraft maps going forward because this shows that you can do some absolutely ridiculous stuff with this game. Absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah, it was very, very impressive. Definitely well worth it. Fireball! So what do I do now? Is, is it finished? Do I get to go back into the world? How does this work? Is this, do I end? Uh, I thought I would get to go back and explore or something, no? Do I, is there like an end chat thing with the dungeon master or no? We're just, we're wrapped up here? Is this it? Nothing else? Okay, well that's, that's fine. I just assumed that since we're back here that the dungeon master would have like an ending kind of word for us or something. No? Nothing at all. Look, okay. Well, that was that was pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Um, fireball. Yeah, kind of surprised that there's not like a just go in and run around or something. Okay. Hmm. Am I missing anything? No. It looks like we're finished. All right. Huh. What a cool experience. Yeah, no, that was a lot of fun. And that is uh, Minecraft Dungeons & Dragons. I look forward to the, uh, the sequel follow-up, guys.